Okay. Are we live? Okay. Are we live? Seems like it. And what a mess. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four of the six old Omni smelters. Uh, at least partially destroyed. Most of one of the new ones. A uh, big section of coal liquefaction. Oh, and also our uranium. Oh! And the sneaky spiders are trying to get me while I describe where we're up to. Okay, so I think first thing we're going to do here is reconfigure this bit of the wall. And we'll set it up to be uh, a bit more straight so we're not jutting out into the corner here. Might be a bit of a custom job to fit it together, but it's not going to be too hard. Oh, I don't have my bots active. Um, maybe that's fine. Maybe I should just defend for the moment. Yeah, seems like a pretty good idea, actually. UPS is back to 60, even though we're not doing the performance mode thing. I wonder if that other change had an effect. Make sure we're not getting attacked. All right. So obviously the first while today is going to be all about fixing the damage done by the fighters. Meanwhile, in space, we do have some steps t that we've taken towards science. Um, I believe we have actually done the Astronomical Science Pack 1 already. And we've laid out Material Science 1, but uh, we don't have the Holmium as part of our supply chain just yet. Probably going to pick that up from Moors now. Since we need to go there for some Cryonite anyway. Unless I want to skip straight to uh, the planets that have those resources for coal mining. Be a nice little fire and forget if we do it that way. Okay. Are we going to have to... No, I think I'll just use copy-paste here instead of... Instead of having to get rid of the station that we've already got. 
Is that a cliff? Yeah, that's a cliff. Don't destroy the cliff. No. Rip cliff. Well, maybe this part of the cliff we can destroy. Here come some more friends. Don't even need my jetpack for this one. How many bots do we have here? Quite a lot. But they're going all over the place for supplies. Do we not have... I think we don't have any buffer chests particularly nearby. Hmm. This is all temporary anyway. I definitely want to expand out here now. Um, and I would like to build the newer version of the wall. Why do I line this up? Like so. Okay, we're gonna have to... Oh, that should be fine. Okay. Seems good. Guess I'll go pick these up. Can't really give everything else too much attention until we're secure again. I suppose I could put some Roboports in my power armor soon. Keep some lasers though. Yeah, that should speed things up a little bit. Let's grab the requests from our most modern wall that includes artillery cannons, and we'll start adding those once we're secure. Although, I should probably focus on fixing the supply chain just as much. We'll... We'll let the, uh... Trains bring the stuff and we'll build it all later. Okay. That seems alright. Don't really need this part over here. And in this instance, we'll make sure this one, uh, this block of lasers is always switched on. Uh, maybe I should do it for this one as well. Yeah, why not? Okay.
We're not quite ready to leave the wall to its own devices, but we're getting there. There's a train on the way uh, that apparently doesn't have a path. It looks like I forgot a signal. Understandable. Oh, actually, this wasn't done at a time of emergency, so I don't really have an excuse for that one. Alright, train should now be on its way. Fantastic. At least they didn't destroy the delivery cannons. That was nice of them. And... Repair. Do I not have... I've got bots and repair... Pa oh, there must be bot jobs to repair these already. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. It looks like we're already approaching reasonably secure. Well, not much to do unless... Uh, until we've got enough turrets over here. Why have I got so many bots in my inventory? That might help. Logistic bots as well. Okay. That might make a bit of a difference. which just makes it all, all the more curious that my bots weren't jumping out to repair things a moment ago. Deliveries? What's happening? We're definitely asking for things. What's your deal? You're waiting on literally four uranium ammo. There's thousands here. Are all of the bots busy doing something else? No, it's not that bad. So why is it taking so long to get a few ammo delivered? Um... What exactly is happening here? Ammo goes here. Did the... Did the bot just take that ammo back before the inserter could insert it and it was actually trying to? I think it did. That shouldn't be. Set filters whitelist. Yeah, it's trying to... Oh, this is full. How did this happen? Why are there 51 lamps? Okay, I know just what to do. And cancel. And then... In you go. Nice. Now, why do you think you have no path? 
Probably because you have no path. Rail got broken down here. Okay. Um, I guess I will dare to... Oh my goodness. Hey, young Jesus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, well, they just attacked, so I guess now's as good a time as any to try and sprint down here and fix that bit of rail. Because if that train doesn't get out of the way, we're never going to get another delivery back here as well. Uh, so we want to fix this. And I may as well let the bots rebuild what they can while I'm here. As long as I keep an eye on this. Oh, this is a lot. I think I've run out of rail. I wish there wasn't a time limit on replacing the ghosts, but uh, from what I understand, it's really, really long now. Can you unload Biter mods from a save without losing it? Um, it depends on the mod. It's You can certainly try it. I would suggest keeping a backup of your save, though. But yeah, just change the... Uh, just change the active mods and load that, uh, load that game. Okay. My beautiful new version Omni Smelter. Rip. How are we for attacks? Seems okay. I need to get a radar over there so I can see what's happening. They don't look like they're preparing to attack. Okay, this might be an attack. Yeah, I kind of want to try actually spend time expanding my base instead of 99% of the time defending. Bit off more than you uh, could chew or just didn't know how severe it would be or not what you're looking for with that mod. Okay, are we just about done replacing things for the moment? Not quite. Actually, let me just go and order some radar down here. There we go. So I need to come back with a lot of blue belt, of course. Stack inserters. Um, beacon. Uh, I'm not beacons. Signals. Why did I say beacons? Wanted a small challenge, not this. Which mod are you using? I forget the name of it. Okay. No path. Where are you trying to go to? Oh, yeah, that's definitely no path. I wonder if I fixed the path for that other train, actually. Let's check. Oh, not right now. Okay, are we good? It is gone. Fantastic. No path to small depot. Um... 
indeed. Oh, there's so much rail that needs to be replaced. But actually, it's just some signals missing down there. Okay. Um, I'm going to get this attack to happen early, then we'll run back for supplies. Let's go. Where are my jetpacks? Multiple biter mods, I think the combination of them makes it too hard. Ouch. Okay. Back to resupply. Um, I don't need extra guns in my inventory right now. Should I drop the multi-spectral mirrors here? Probably. Uh, extra heat shielding. Oh, I should turn this on. That would help. Get water fill mod and put water around your base. Yeah, that makes it pretty easy. Vista216. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so... Did they really attack as soon as I left? Uh, okay. Let's see. They are slowly eating the rest of the base. Okay, at least I don't have to go over there just yet. Um, I'll take more laser turrets, that's for sure. And what else? Don't need labs. Space platform scaffold. As soon as this is empty, I'll go grab some more rail. Uh, rail and laser turrets for the most part. Don't need this either. Okay. Rail is always at purple science. Actually, give me all of it pretty much. And the rest will be laser turrets. I can't even use artillery to bomb them. I got six biter mods. Rip. All right, robots go. Hopefully we can get a critical mass of lasers and walls over here. It'll be enough to stop those small attacks. Um, I have been considering either adding laser turrets regularly to the um, uh, to the rail blocks, as a matter of course. And or uh, creating a small solar-powered laser turret outpost that I can just throw down anywhere. Like behind the walls, it should at least uh, slow the biters down if they break through. Maybe I could make it produce a surplus of power. And I'll dot it all around the place. It'll increase defenses and also... Produce some power. It seems we don't have... A whole lot of walls over here. Hey, er. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Um. I guess that's it for now. 
I'm trying to rebuild the production things and hope that this is enough to defend it for the moment. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Why are my bots so slow and random with the repairs? What time is it for you? Uh, for me, it is after 4 p.m. We live... In, oh, on uh, Sunday. We live in the future. That's a bit rough. 152 out of 1400 hit points. Get any big biter attacks yet? Yeah, I got gigantic biter attack. Uh, they took out one of the new smelters, uh, oil, coal liquefaction, uh, one, two, three, four of the old Omni smelters. Um, and they were absolutely gigantic. Uh, they were much bigger than regular behemoth biters. What time is it in the space? Hello, by the way, Bob Marley. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're 10 days, 16 hours into this playthrough. Now the fight starts. I didn't think this mo uh, mod would be this type of difficulty, but at least we over-prepared with our walls. Um, but yeah, I think the new version of the wall should be able to handle them. It's got more always on laser turrets and uh, gun turrets. Oh, this one's been beat up a little bit. Why is it taking so long to get repaired? Probably because the train system is still broken. I forgot to replace those chain signals. Let's go do that. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Uh, it'll randomly drop meteors with big biters on your mostly main base. Let's see. Uh, this over here is where we need to start. A evil plot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm 1357 days into my playthrough, and I got 157 hours on it. Oh, I didn't mean, like, Factorio days, if that's what you mean. Uh, let's go for a few more Roboports. And bank on not having to deal with biters for at least five minutes. So it drops these meteors even if you have uh, artillery cannons that shoot down all the meteors, I guess. So they really did call in reinforcements from another planet. They called in the Biter Space Marines. How does your pollution look? It looks like this. That's surprisingly squarish. It's almost like exactly the shape of the base because the base is quite large and the walls are quite far from the... Um, from production. Big worms look nice, but they fo they do a lot of damage. Okay. Um let's just keep flying around until we see the bots dropping something. We'll fix as much as we can each trip.
Um, except I don't really want to rebuild. Okay, I think what I'll... Uh... I don't really want to rebuild the old Omni Smelters. I'd like to replace them with uh, something better. But I need to make sure I replace all of the rail. Um, how about we do something like... Um, I thought I had a deconstruction planner for this. Alright, let's just add one. This is going to be blacklist. And that should probably do it. Um, so I just want to firstly... Oh, some of the trains got killed as well. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, so I'm going to deconstruct... Well then. Uh, let's see when the last autosave was. It was pretty much right at the start of the stream. Okay. Is this a Vita Melange planet? No, it's a... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's Nalvis. Kapow? Kapow. Uh, moral of the story is don't try to deconstruct hundreds of crafting combinators at the same time, I suppose. Well, let's see if we can speedrun doing all that again, I guess. Space Marine Biters, yes indeed. What did all the damage? Giant Biters, much bigger than regular behemoths. Even the blue ones were bigger than regular behemoths. They broke through probably the weakest point on this whole wall because it was jutting out, uh, jutting out this way. Which had never been a problem before. I got attacked like 10 times from them on home planet till now. So can they land absolutely anywhere or will they come from outside of the base? I don't really want to have to fortify literally everything. But yeah, all I was trying to do over here was run a deconstruction planner over this and then undo. Um, with some exceptions for rail and stuff, uh, because I don't actually want to replace the, uh, the old Omni Smelters, since we've got an updated design that's considerably better. I think current mods cause the unfairness, armored biters, nova natural enemies. Oh, for your playthrough? I've always found it uh, quite difficult if you're trying to do a challenging death world run. Uh, it's actually quite difficult to find settings that are difficult but not too difficult, especially for the first hour or three. It takes a lot of tweaking. Okay, so let's copy all of this nonsense right here, and we'll bring it down. I'm not going to work too much. Uh, I would like to keep these bits of uh, cliff right here. The rest... Not so much. Hmm. 
And that should just about do it. I got level 17 bomb and fire resistant biters, 1k plus health. What mod is this? Uh, Space Marine Biters? Uh, I think it's just part of space exploration. Vanilla SE, they don't drop down on Nalvis. Do they not? I mean, I didn't... I left all of the settings pretty much default. Um, and yet we have these giant biters. Um, let's do this. we go. And some Robocorp. I'm doing just SE plus Crestorio 2 and they drop on my home planet. Somebody make atomic mutated biters? Isn't that nuke biters from Rampant? Okay. Got a surprising number of laser turrets on me already. I need some more signals and stuff. Alright, let's run back for resupply. Um, there's actually a bit of rail I need to make sure I replace first. And that is down here, because it's keeping some trains from resupplying. Didn't see them in space yet, maybe they don't go there. I should hope not. If they can survive in space, uh, I don't think there's any stopping them, realistically. I've inadvertently run into a lot of build jobs. Let's just get it done. replace the rail. We need the signals to make that work, though. So, in Universe Explorer, it says hazard meteors at your Nalvis. No, it doesn't. The first planet that I found with that is uh, two or three planets over across from Nalvis. Sounds like a bug then? <laughs> Great. Uh, if I didn't say already, Maholic, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Only meant to be Vitae Melange. That's a bit odd. Where are they going? Okay. We're getting attacks very frequently, it seems like. I think it's time to expand the base. So unfortunately, we're going to have to put a lot of... Uh, a lot of focus and time into military matters for a little while. won't be able to do so much. What's this doing on the ground? I uh, won't be able to do so much space science stuff. Although we did get... Uh, we do have uh, Astronomic Science Pack 1 
being produced very, very, very slowly. Let's get this out of my inventory. This thing again. Save and deconstruct so you don't forget? Yeah. I think I'll stay away from doing such a massive deconstruct again as well. How are we doing? Seems okay. That's a, uh, that's an attack wave coming in if ever I've seen one. Seems like we are resupplied. Let's head back. And while we're at it, let's recharge. Where are we going? Those are not, there we go. All right, I think I'll, um, Aggro this group early. Whoop, not that early. Pull them towards the stronger parts of the wall. Oh no. They all reset just because I fell out of the sky for two nanoseconds. I don't have any shielding, I gotta be careful. What are they... Okay, do not fall for it. There we go. All right, let's heal up. Trying to lull me into a false sense of security. Don't know how much else I brought that is gonna get built here. Oh, quite a few laser turrets actually. Okay, that should just about do it. Back to rebuilding. If my bots would stop fleeing. Are we good? Okay. Um, so as a priority, we need to replace the rail signals down here. Will you use artillery trains? Um, I'm going to get stationary artillery on the walls because it's just more convenient for the logistics to keep them supplied. I'll use the RD train to transport the shells, though. I'm seeing the bots really struggling to keep this stuff repaired for some reason, even though we've got we've got 53 construction of bots all on this wall. All of them are available at the moment. Do we not have repair packs? I'm... I'm seeing zero repair packs in the logistic network. Uh, that's alarming. Why are there no repair packs here? We're requesting them. Okay, we need to... We really need to get these trains moving again. Oh, this one's still stuck. I forgot about this. I really need to redo this. A hey, Valdak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so we've got a few stacks there. Um, 
can the bots actually get where they need to go? Uh, the trains, rather. I think we should just focus on repairing the rail for now. Also, we've got some dead trains that need to be removed. Um... I also need to tell LTN that those trains are dead because I set the timeout thing to a very large number. I could just remove and replace the uh, train stops, but I don't know which train stops the trains were headed for. Repairing trains? What have you done? Uh, I don't know if you were here for the end of the last stream. I, I, I th but uh, we got completely owned by fighter space marines. They're like one and a half times the size of regular behemoths. And they tore through from the weakest point on this wall and went straight for all of our best rail blocks. I forgot. Yeah, they went through the wall. Got to admit, I... F Hell asleep. Okay. Biters got angry? Yes. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to repair all this. Um, I should definitely be carrying more rail and signals until we get all this fixed. Um, I don't... <sighs> okay, it seems running a deconstruction planner over ghosts of crafting combinators uh, crashes the game. Attempt to index a nil value. Rip. Okay. I need to remember to save the game before I try anything around a crafting combinator. And... kind of need to... Uh, kind of need to remember to save as soon as we get a handle on things. That's a tree. That's a rock. Again, Tyrannosaurus sex, Biter Troubles. Biter Troubles, and for some reason, every time I try to deconstruct... I think it's when I try to deconstruct a ghost of a crafting combinator. Or maybe it's when I try to deconstruct a crafting combinator that's pointing at a ghost. Uh, something like that. When I do deconstruction planners over these areas, it crashes the game. Uh, actually, I want to... Uh, we may as well do some experiments. Uh, crafting combinator rations. Save. Okay. So it was here. That does indeed crash the game. And then... If we deconstruct the ghosts, no effect. If we deconstruct just the ghost of the crafting combinator, it crashes. What happens if we deconstruct uh, everything but the crafting combinator ghosts? Well, let's blacklist this first. Nothing. 
Okay. If I right click it, it doesn't crash. If I deconstruct it, it crashes. Okay, good to know. Um, I'm still gonna save every time I... Uh, every time I mess with a crafting combinator for the near future. Definitely be grabbing a clip of that for a bug report. I couldn't tell you why, um, like, even hypothesize on why a deconstruction planner uh, crashes it, but just doing a regular removal does not. But that's the kind of thing that you sort of get an instinct for uh, doing programming and stuff. Can you place a new ghost of crafting combinator and deconstruct it? Uh, Alright, let's find out. So place this, remove, place this, deconstruct, that seems fine. Um, how about I get some robo ports, deconstruct, no worries, turn robo port off, make ghost, deconstruct, no worries. So I think it's, uh, I think it have, had to be destroyed by the biters and why are there two of them that's interesting there's two ghosts for crafting combinators here and only one ghost for i forget what it's called it's something like uh crafting combinator blueprint settings if we blueprint this there's only one huh yeah, sometimes when I am designing big things in uh, the super editor mode, um, I notice uh, I notice these uh, crafting combinator blueprint settings get left behind sometimes, even after you remove these things. Um, but you can always, if you run a blueprint over a space like this, you'll find a little green plus showing where it is. And if you just put the crafting combinator down and then remove it, uh, that'll get rid of it. Uh, but yeah, it seems the crafting combinators that have been destroyed by biters, or at least some of them. Oh, this is blueprint. The crafting combinators that have been destroyed by biters have... Uh, show a double up of crafting combinators in the blueprint. I wonder if letting the bots rebuild this could have crashed it as well. Probably not. I think I was pretty close to them earlier. Um, one of the bots likely would have tried rebuilding it, but let's find out. Alright, so all I'm going to do here is let the bots do their thing. If I try to deconstruct this one, it still has two crafting combinators and one uh, settings thing. So I bet if I deconstruct this, it won't crash. And if I deconstruct this, it might. It doesn't. That's interesting. So, after this has been placed, deconstruction does not make it crash. But if it's a ghost, and it's got the double... Uh, where's another example? 
if it is a ghost and it's got the double up of crafting combinator, it crashes. That is pretty oddly specific. Rip that train? Yes, indeed. Um, I'm going to write this down real quick in case I forget when it comes time to send a report. Uh, so let's see. Destroyed crafting combinators. Deconstructing destroyed crafting combinators ghosts. Crashes the game. Destroyed crafting combinators. Show one. What is it called again? Uh, crafting Combinator Blueprint Settings. And two Crafting Combinators. Okay. Regular Deconstruction. This, uh, regular Removal. Let's not crash game. Deconstructing. Other crafting. Let's not crash game. Okay, cool. Now we need to see if it's base or it's a mod. It is a mod. A crafting combinator. A crafting combinator is a mod. I thought I rebuilt this part before I saved. Oh well, it's fine. Okay, one. Oops. Two, three, four, five. Save the cliffs. And then. One more down here, I think. Um, and then we need to deal with the next attack, which is probably coming any minute now. That's them amassing. How far does the pollution go? Maybe I could clear them out to here, and that'll very much be worth the time. It'll give us a lot more time to rebuild. I think they're upset. Clip also in Discord? Thank you. Don't you ever wish there were nuclear artillery shells? I'm pretty sure there's a mod for that if you really want it. There's also a mod for putting a command and conquer style ion cannon in space. Uh-oh, there's that mystery something disconnected sound. Oh, 
Well, I'm glad it's a crash that it seems that we can just completely work around if we're careful. It doesn't seem at all like it's going to happen at random. Of course, I use the word random a bit loosely there. Where did that biter go? There was a biter that ran off here, right? I have antimatter artillery shells. <laughs> that seems safe. Yeah, this is definitely a lot easier than dealing with attack wave after attack wave after attack wave while we try to rebuild. We're just lucky that the pollution doesn't go that far yet. Oh, that's... That's a few biters. How much energy do I have left? 50%. Come into the rocks, please. I should probably equip a few more lasers. Nah, this is good. spawner and this one is this the edge of the pollution cloud no but it should buy us a bit more time I don't really feel like attacking that base say no to popping some spawners that easily. Let's bring them over to the wall and reevaluate. Better check on the wall down here first. Seems okay. Uh, probably a good idea to recharge. Uh, I've got a lot of lasers on me. I should make sure we build over here first. Yeah, I think we'll just focus on uh, clearing out about this area so that we don't get any attacks down here for a little while. Why are my bots... Oh, my inventory's full. Oh, there we go. That was easy. Did that just get rid of... Okay, it's fine. I was trying to get rid of only the bots in my trash slots. I forgot I made another power armor as well. Um, 
Okay, keep building for the moment. done. I don't really want them to take the space belt away, but the rail system will bring it back. I'm not going to waste time on correcting that in this moment. Alright, should I maybe go resupply while this recharges? Seems like a good idea. Actually, I'll drop off some robots while I'm still got them. There's a lot of repair jobs not getting done. How many repair packs do we have? Zero. That is extremely concerning. Um, need to fix this for like the third time because crashes. Just need to make some room in this chest. Um... And I'm going to remove, uh, where is it? Where am I looking? Remove the request for artillery shells over here. That should make sure there's going to be enough space. Um, as soon as this train manages to leave, oh, it can't get there because... I actually haven't repaired this part at all yet. Okay. I'll deconstruct this. Get rid of the shelves. I should just go over there and pick them up. It's going to be kind of random how quickly they actually get rid of the shelves there. Pretty sure I have a logistic request that says zero shells, yes. Which means, even though my inventory is pretty much full, I can just do this. Okay, let's go fix that bit of rail. Are you using the same robo network for your defense as your base? No, it's uh, no, it isn't. These are all not only are they not the same robo port, but they're on separate networks so that we don't get bots making uh, silly or impossible trips. Okay, where is that piece of rail? A couple of blocks this way. Um, let's use a robopod, I guess. And that train should hopefully be in motion now. There it goes. Alright which means we can get the next train 
uh, to pick up whatever it's going to pick up. Repair packs, fantastic. Oh, there probably are some horrendous... Uh, there's probably some really bad um, blockages in the rail network as well. Um, can I maybe... Let's turn this into a trash train. There's no... We'll have to sort this out in a minute, but I think if I just... Send this to trash, uh, RTB. You don't have a way to get there. Why not? There's no signal over here? Oh, you're facing the wrong way. Okay. Is that rocket fuel? Off you go. And I'll have to fix that as soon as I get back. Or I can just remotely place a ghost to add a locomotive to the other side. Uh, it's under attack. Let's go. Come on, bots. Come back. Come on. Hurry up. Quicker than that, please. Lasers. What happened to the railway? Space Marine Biders. There were lasers here. What happened? Oh boy. Alright, since we've got a full charge... Wait, we need to make sure we extend the robo-network down here as well. I may have neglected that detail. Okay, put this here. Here. Make sure this touches this one, actually. That'll maybe be enough. We'll see. Time for a counter-attack. We all had a weak corner, and there were many. Yeah, there weren't just many biters. There were biters that are, like, one and a half times larger than the largest behemoths. Even the blue ones were that big. Can I move? Okay. Goodbye, spawners. I should probably spend some uranium ammo to speed this up. Then again, it doesn't take that long to divide as this sparse. Doesn't even make that much of a difference. At least coming from an SMG. Is that part of SE, or do you have some other mod that makes the Bider Boys scarier? Um, it's I believe it's SE. I didn't add anything else. And even the tough biter mods that I have played with uh, don't do anything like that. At least not that I'm aware of. There's no research that will make that makes artillery range. Able to shoot it without destroying your base? What? Oh my god. 
Can I tell you something? Don't scan all planets, just scan what you will go to, or your save file will get big fast. Yeah, of course. Are you using the same robo network? Nope. Okay, I think I caught up. You mean SE got Vita Media that destroys your base? Uh, seems like it. They did come from outside of the wall, but they were way, 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 way stronger than regular behemoth biters. And there was a huge group of them. Like, hundreds, I'm pretty sure. At least a hundred. Okay, where are we? We're past the pollution cloud. Fantastic. Let's get this base. And hopefully we're not far away from being able to focus on rebuilding. I should have the ice gun handy. That's way more useful if things get really bad. Have you considered it might be related to that pollution cloud? I got biters that are way bigger than you ever see in the regular game. And I haven't seen anything like them up until that attack. And I haven't seen anything like them since. Like, they are literally about the size of one of these spawners. Maybe bigger. We might still be able to see some of the corpses if I go have a look. Okay, so here is a regular behemoth. That's fully zoomed in. And can we still see some over here? I don't think so. Unfortunate. I don't know if it saves uh, the corpses or if it's just too much time has passed. Um, but they were literally, like, bigger than the industrial furnaces. Um, to give you some idea. I mean, you can go see it in the last stream. Uh, the VOD's up. And before it expires, it'll be posted to the YouTube as well. SE has Bite of Medias, but... Oops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. I should have resorted to the cryo gun sooner. SE has Bite Meteors, but they should only appear on planets with the Bite of Meteors hazard. Noxy, you have for sure Bite of Meteors in SE. But I haven't seen bigger enemies in pure SE. Maybe they changed it? Can I know the timeline of the attack? Uh, well... It's kind of hard to know because we had a few crashes, but uh, I would say it was probably uh, maybe an hour or so. Well, no, what more like 30, 40 minutes ago, I think. Uh, and by the time I noticed it, they'd already chewed through half the base. Oh, we've run out of energy. I should make sure if I'm running away that I'm going south because when they when I drop out of the sky I'll jolt forward because of the way the jetpack mod works. 
All right, let's just bring you into the wall, shall we? So I can recharge my batteries just that little bit quicker. Should we refer to the Giga Fighters as Leviathan, Gargantuan, or Colossal? Hmm. Which one leaves room for even bigger, scarier biters in case those exist? I think Gargantuan. Nyron Wolf, thank you for the host. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so... Uh, how's our pollution cloud? We still need to hit these two bases, and then this part of the wall should be able to rebuild itself. Bider XL. Uh, Artsman, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, that's getting energy. Is this in range? Not quite. Um, there we go. Alright, so that should be able to sort itself out. Else, as soon as I recharge, I'll go attack these bases. Um, and then we need to focus on fixing any logistic problems, like from broken rail or something. Uh, seems this station is still operational. Although that train took a very long time to get back. This one is taking... Uh, I think this is the same train from earlier. I don't think it ever picked up any... What are you doing? Okay, back to the fluid depot for you. Or small depot. Um, of all the weird traffic jams to be caused by the attack, that one looks like it could have happened on its own, though. Planet-sized biters? Oh no. Are we on a planet-sized biter? Now, now, some planets ain't exactly big. Chicho, Moon of My Nalvis has a modest 1048. Uh, what do we got for Mars? 1427. Wow, 1048 is significantly smaller than that. Alright, let's go pay them another visit. My Nalvis is 550? How small can it get? That's like nothing. That's like that little rock in Kerbal Space Program that you can literally... I can't remember if you could literally accidentally jump off of it. You could definitely jetpack into orbit. Or reach escape velocity for that matter. The gravity was so low, it's, like, kind of hard to move around. I always liked this bit of music. Gilly? Yeah, I think it's Gilly. Look how easy that is. What's a good mod to combine with SE? Uh, if you don't mind a very slow start, uh, I think a lot of people would recommend K2. I should probably use the rocket launcher. There we go. What mode is good with SE? Uh, what do you mean? Like, 
Railworld or something? I think I picked Railworld, I don't remember. I, I picked very close to default settings for uh, for my first run in SE. Okay, now we just clean up. YK2 just adds a whole lot of stuff. Um, I mean, if you like K2, you might want to add K2. Isn't really a good mod in itself. Will become an integration update for SE. There's a lot of integration already in there. Yep, to each their own. Uh, the start of K2 is very slow, and from what I've heard, uh, it makes the start of space exploration that much slower. I also don't love that the... Uh, the basic smelters have to have recipes set. Oh, careful. Is this in the pollution cloud still? I think this is the last one. Let's have a look. Yeah, I th think this is the last one we need to worry about. Hopefully this should be fully built by the time they send a proper attack next time. I think so too for K2. Very slow start. Yeah, definitely. Also, Noxyway Gaming. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Uh, in all this excitement, I've been missing some of the usual chat things. But I think things are finally calming down now. Should I wait here for this to recharge a little bit, or should I just go back? It'll be a little bit of a slow trip, but that's fine. Unless we happen to have a train stopping back here. Is it going to actually get here, though? No path... Uh, that's right, I need to put this, uh, signal right about here, and then that's not it. Okay. Is it this one? No. This one. I think by the time it gets here... Oh, it's only bringing oil as well. Alright, let's just go back to base for now. Looking at the VOD, the biters seem to be twice the size. Not sure if it's an actual buffer biter? Buffer biter. Yeah, they were freaking gigantic. So I was actually being conservative, saying they were like 1.5 times the size. Uh, Shot Shadow Plus. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Did I turn this on? Yep. Okay. I'm going to save right here. And... Honestly, I am just like 1% scared of 
using the same save. So let's uh, let's just do this. But I'm pretty sure we've figured out all of the conditions under which we're getting that crash. I just need to not do this. But first thing I'm going to do is go and remove all of the ghosts of the crafting combinators that were destroyed. And that should avoid uh, crashes in the future. Buffer slash stronger. So buffed up, yeah. Peggle 2. Peggle, that rings a bell. Okay, uh, so no Robopot right now. We need to remove... That's interesting. Even though it's a ghost... Look at that. I have... There's like a... Okay, what if I use Pick a Dollies? Oh look, there's two crafting combinators here. Okay, let me make a note of that real quick. Moving with picker buildings reveal. There were two crafting ghosts. Actually, now I'm curious. If I um, if I deconstruct it like this, will it crash? Yes. Yes, it will. Interesting. So it's not because they're on top of each other. That doesn't have anything to do with it, necessarily. I was making fun of your save name? Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so let's remove all of this. I want to get rid of the old Omni Smelter systems anyway. But yeah, I have to, you notice how I have to stop. It actually takes a moment, just like I'm removing a regular building to remove the ghosts of, like, the double ups of the destroyed crafting combinators. Alright, that might be it. But I want to play it safe here. Yeah, no, I think there was one. And they didn't destroy any of this. Um, same thing again. And again. I think I just figured out something as well. I bet if we start on an actual building, uh, no, never mind. Okay, and this one seems to be fine. Don't want to take any chances. Okay. Just a couple more of these to go. And then I'll bet if we run a deconstruction planner over this whole area, it won't crash.
don't think we need to be deleting this part, but let's be sure. Alright. And then just over here. And over here. This seems okay. Alright, let's save it. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have saved over that. Oh well. Um, there's always the stream to refer to, at least. And deconstruction planner. All of this. I don't think it's crashing. I think it's just taking a while to think about it. I can still hear sound effects. Yep. And that was undo. <laughs> I wonder how many thousands of items I just marked for deconstruction. Okay, we're good. Fantastic. I don't think we have to worry about those crashes anymore. Alright, so let's um let's go hit that last biter base that's in the pollution cloud near Uh, near that vulnerable corner. And then we'll get to rebuilding, finally. Nice DPS. Running out of big ones. Not really. Running out of spawners, though. Round and round and round we go. And that'll be the end of that. Okay. That should be fine. Alright, back to base. Uh, actually, we've still got a ton of stuff to place again. Uh, why don't we just... Can I put this down somewhere? There we go. Uh, why don't we just build what we can while we're still here? And I'll do another save. Come to think of it, the... Uh... Yeah, this save here will have the... Crafting combinators that cause crashes. Also, alliteration. Alright, let's get some robot bolts. And some energy for them. Uh, this is one reason to really not favor the sushi belts for the Omni Smelters, because this is totally independent of any saved states. If I wanted to rebuild this one, I need to completely drain the belt just so I can reset the counter for what's on the belt. Just to make sure it's accurate. Okay. 
It may have been a bit overly ambitious with eight Robopods. Especially with so many build jobs in the vicinity. Yeah, they're running out of energy pretty quick. On the other hand, they are building pretty quick. Uh, let's pick you guys up so you don't all have to recharge. It's in the game, it's not cheating. Probably shouldn't stand on the tracks for that long. And that's why. <laughs> that took a surprisingly long moment. Okay. All of the Robopots are still not charged. We're bottlenecking on recharge. We may as well do it like this for now. Is the Factorio equivalent to hitting your sentry with a wrench to make it set up faster? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Can we still place anything up here? A single splitter. Fantastic. Why is there... How did we get steel on this part of this belt? That's really odd. Okay. Oh, more to do. Some repairs. Are we getting repairs sent to the walls? Um, not seeing any. It's a bit worrying. What are you waiting for? Flamethrower turrets. And accumulators. Is this chest full? I think I have an idea that might work a lot better for these um, stations. I basically need to make a... No, wait, that's something I would have figured out already if it's possible to read contents and set filters on a blue chest. I basically want a blue chest that will get purged if you remove all of the requests. Um, okay, let's just go and replace some of this stuff. Come to think of it, I should probably... never use deconstruction again. I thought I removed all of these. I think it was this one. Or maybe there was one here? Didn't I run a deconstruction planner over literally all of these to check? Maybe I started it further to the right. Okay. F indeed. Not oh, odd because something destroy and the item drop on the ground. 
And it will be on the belt if you rebuild. I see. Okay. I think... I think for the foreseeable future, I'll change the autosave interval. Uh, let's make it... You know what? Let's make it five minutes for the moment. Uh, did we remove that biter nest? Yes. Okay, so... Literally, that was just... Flying around with roboports, right? We bottlenecked on power pretty quickly, so should probably just do it this way. Yeah, there's, I missed one. There's one here. It's invisible and fake. So I went and removed this, but I didn't notice that I didn't remove two of them, I guess. Well, since we just reloaded the game, can we... I have to physically go over there. To test it. I kind of want to know, to be honest. Let's go. Yeah, I must have done the big deconstruction starting to the right of this. And I probably just missed that one uh, fake crafting combinator. If it if it's like invisible and you remove it like it's a physical item, I think that's the tell. It's not crashing. It is crashing. That took a surprisingly long time. Auto save three. Oh, that was quick. Okay, fine. Auto save is super fast now after the new patch. Nice. Yeah, I think I'll just stop using deconstruction planner around this stuff. At least until we completely replace it. Um, let's just make sure. Oh, I was going to say. I just remembered I'm carrying an extra set of power armor, but I am not. If you put the power armor in your inventory, does it recharge? I could carry multiple power armors just to have one to switch to with full batteries. I could have one with like 10 batteries and at least 8 roboports. I wouldn't want to fumble around with swapping to that uh, sort of thing for combat, but in order to hoard a bunch of stored power, that seems pretty good. No recharge? That's pretty cringe. Okay. It's getting to the point where I feel like saving whenever I'm about to use the deconstruction planner. Even though I'm sure it's only going to be um, when there's a crafting combinator around. I 
kind of hard to see what that health bar belongs to. Been a while since I last tuned in. How's the game going? Uh, pretty well, apart from the whole having half of our base eaten by giant monster space marine biters. Um, uh, towards the end of the last stream, we were working on material uh, space science one. Ma material science pack one. I think we've got this production chain finished, uh, except we don't actually have Iridium. Uh, Astronomic Science Pack 1, we've actually produced a whopping two of these. I don't know why... oh. It looks like... Don't tell me the entire belt is like this. Oh, because we're pushing it to that side. That's why. We can maybe change that a little bit. Uh, yeah, we are very slowly making astro astronomic science packs with this uh, sushi-based system. Um, we've set up material science pack one, but we don't have some resources. And then all of a sudden we had to come back down here because uh, double-sized biters were tearing through the entire base. I wish there's a mod you can charge your personal battery without wearing it. Yeah, definitely. I, I think there is a mod actually that lets you um, uh, not so much charge without wearing something, but you can recharge the batteries of your power armor from the power in the main electric network. I need some fuel refineries. Turn off the RoboPort. I'm scared that if the bots try to rebuild this, something will break. And I don't actually want them to uh, rebuild this stuff. And I'm not game to use the deconstruction planner to remove this stuff anymore. So let's just do it like this. I'm pretty sure, um... Yeah, this is blacklisted. So it's actually running the deconstruction planner over those particular crafting combinator ghosts um, is all that it takes to uh, to crash the game. It's not necessarily the act of telling it to deconstruct them. Alright, if I turn Roboport on now, are we just going to repair things that are already there for the most part? Uh, Axolot TV, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Suffice to say, yeah, I'm actually scared to use the deconstruction planner, even though I can see exactly what I'm using it on at this point. Well, may as well keep letting the bots rebuild things. Let's repair this stuff. Stop taking up extra stacks in my inventory. that. What am I doing? Okay. 
a good pot off. Don't replace this stuff. Uh, I'll just... I just want to replace the rail around here, but... Alright, it's going to be easier if I just let them do their thing. That little pause actually scared me. I don't know how critical some... Well, I, okay, that intersection is probably kind of important. What I'm going to have to do to empty all this stuff out, if I don't want to destroy it, which I don't, is uh, just like we did with the old uh, delivery cannon block, um, I've basically converted all of these. Oh, that reminds me. Now that we don't have a million bot jobs back at the base. Uh, I've converted all of these to uh, trash pickup stations. So we'll keep having the trash train come over here and pick this up and take it back to the main base until it's empty. And autosave is not too long. I wonder how they optimized it. Also, I'm a little bit concerned. I'm now getting little hitches in Factorio. That's never been a thing. Alright, let's go back for more stuff. Make sure we get plenty of rail this time. UPS is considerably better uh, for not having the browser running in the background, even though it's supposed to put tabs to sleep whenever you're not using them. I'm actually running this without the performance mode on in uh, OBS, which gives us like another 5 UPS or so, straight back to 60. Why is there a... Oh, I remember finding this before. Random crafting combinator on the ground. Uh, let's make sure we get that rail before we forget. And... Probably about half as much as we can carry should be fine. Still some things on the way. I should get some industrial furnaces. And... Uh, what is it called again? Fuel refinery. 
don't remember where we're making those. Yes, I do. Uh, definitely some more chemical plants, I think. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more chemical plants. Alright, that should do for now. Start with the rail. It does make it a little tempting to have one huge bot network, so this would eventually repair itself, but this would just create thousands and thousands of bot jobs, and they would all uh, halo around the Robocorts recharging until the end of time. Uh, before they take all of my resources, let's go make sure we repair something that's actually a bit more functional first. Nope, nope, that's... that's rude. Okay, fine, we'll build this before we go. Okay, where was it? Down here. May as well repair this train. You're actually not destroyed, you've just been stuck waiting here all day. You've got no path to one of the old smelters. Replacing destroyed items is bot's job. Yeah, well, I just mean it'll take a uh, really, really long time. Marsh, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I should have brought more belts. We're probably not going to finish repairing this in one go. Um, why don't we bump this up to 600 for now? And probably more undergrounds as well. And rail... 500? Is that everything we can place for now? Uh, let's head down to the chemical plants. I'm going to need to make a few trips for the modules also. I don't think I need to be... Actually, that's fine. need to get oil refineries also. Uh, refinery, make it 10 for now. Make this 10 as well in case I miss any. A lot of really big builds that got absolutely obliterated.
Yeah, I think I'm going to need way more belt, actually. Let's bump this up to a thousand for now. Um, I don't want to rebuild any of the broken... the old Omni smelters, however. need a lot more pipe as well. Uh, let's change this to 200. Blue inserters. Centrifuges I do not normally carry. Let's make this 20, I guess. And back to base. Okay. I kind of wish just a little bit that I hadn't updated the rail drop-off for the Omni Smelter. Then it would be a lot easier to update the existing ones to the newer design. But what are you going to do? I suppose I can just drain these stations, um, and then I think all of the outputs at the bottom are in exactly the same spot. Mm. Yeah, the chests are, which is the main thing. That's where you get... the bulk of what has to be done if you want to move all of that stuff. So it's just going to be uh, these stations here that we're going to have to drain um, that'll be most of the work involved in replacing these. Oh, and the Vulcanite block drop-off from the side as well. That's going to have to change. I think that'll be an off-stream podcast task, though. Um, for now, we'll just make do with fewer Omni smelters and or build some more new ones. What's going on here? Oh, the steel output is blocked. Oh, right, I haven't fixed that yet. Okay, let's head back over. Once our requests are full. Interface. Um, auto sort off. I wish you could toggle this a bit more easily. Don't really care where that is. I think that's all I wanted to change in the filters. Oh, we also want to... How many inventory slots do I get? 
with this thing. Uh, does it not say? Inventory size bonus 20. There it is. And this one is... Uh, inventory size bonus 30. Okay. So... My inventory is looking quite full right now, actually. Uh, I was going to... Oh, I can. Because it's not auto-sort. Yeah, let's put all of this stuff in... ...its place. And that should still be there when we switch to the thruster suit. Okay, cool. Turn auto-sort back on. How's space science progressing? Uh, last I checked, we have produced two products. Uh, we've still produced two products. They are on the sushi belt now, though. Uh, this one, as opposed to rocket science, um, doesn't produce them in batches of ten. It's a lot more expensive. Uh, so, I think in about... 700 years, we can do some kind of research that involves uh, astronomic science packs. Obviously, we need to address the throughput here in one way or another. Okay, let's get back to building. You know what? I never use these exoskeletons. I think for now, I will just... leave them alone. Alright, back we go. Cool, 700 years. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I knew uh, the system I was building would be slow, but I didn't think it would be that slow. Where are we going? Down here? I still don't... Oh, right. How about you just go back to base for now? I should go ahead and... Uh, switch off all of these requests. To do that, I actually need to remove combinators. Uh, because of the way I set this up. Actually, can I find an example? Okay, that's putting eight, outputting negative 8k. If I do this, does this stop outputting, or do I have to actually physically go over there? In any case, I'll need to do that. It would be nice if we could read the contents of each cargo wagon. I don't think there's a way to do that without more mods. Are you trying to go to the same place again? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Is this actually finished? Seems like it. Why is this one struggling? Oh, it's filling up stone first. Okay, cool. So I think that's all working correctly. Uh, let's not forget to finish this one. Do we not have speed modules? Wait, have we run out of speed modules back at the base? We actually have... How is it not... There's no blue circuits. Oh, they're all getting put into... 
they're all getting put into this rocket first. And we're only half full. Um, okay. Maybe we could... Uh, you know what? Let's just remove this condition over here for now. We'll prioritize the belt. Okay, on to the next one. We're just missing a couple of speed modules. Not too concerned about that. Read cargo wagon with train stopped. Oh, there's a mod called that. So ambitious for filling a full rocket with blue chips. Well, I don't... You kind of have to fill rockets. Like, if you're going to... If you're going to automate them to send things, um, you may as well fill them. Otherwise, you're wasting cargo rocket parts and so on. Um, at the same time, initially, I was going to set it up so that we send a bunch of stuff to a single cargo rocket pad. And maybe some attached storage. But... Um, you can build an extremely complicated system to compare, for example, how much we've got of each science pack and do the math on what the next rocket should send up. Or you can just have enough storage space for 500 stacks of each science pack and just send up a full rocket of each. Um, it's really much, much, much simpler this way don't have to fill them all with the same thing, though. Uh, you don't have to, but if you're automating it, it's just way, way, way easier to do it that way. And that's coming from me. Uh, you know how much I like to do complicated things with circuits. Yeah, figuring out the logic of how you're going to decide what to put in the rocket if you're balancing it across multiple resources while at the same time making sure you fill the rocket. Uh, it's actually pretty tricky and honestly kind of a headache. And as long as you're patient enough for the first launch, uh, it's really not necessary. Because those launches are going to be few and far between. Okay. We've actually rebuilt... I think we've rebuilt everything except for the old Omni Smelters. What is going on here? Oh, that makes sense. Wow, that's taking a while to drain. I guess I shouldn't be too... Okay, this is unnecessary. Let's just tell him to go for it. Um, how do I... No condition. No filters. Okay. So the next thing we want to do um, is not rebuild this sushi belt. Um, I think we'll remove all of these requests. That one actually is fine for now, I guess. Haven't played this in forever. Such a good game. Yes, indeed. Uh, before I streamed Factorio, I would come back to it once or twice a year. 
can confirm what t hack says, need to compare what's already in orbit and what's missing. I add items to a rocket as soon as they as soon as they're consumed in orbit, but still need a buffer. And buffer depends on consumption and stack size, yes. Uh, it's the kind of thing that would be a minor challenge in a programming language if you've got a little bit of education or skill in that. Um, but to program it in uh, combinators, uh, very challenging, especially if you're not super experienced with that sort of low-level programming. So while I have two chests for each science color, I have six chests for rocket fuel because fuel doesn't stack well and it's needed at the same rate as the science packs. Trying Satisfactory right now, both of the games are really good. Yeah, I love Satisfactory. It's, um, uh, it has its advantages and disadvantages over Factorio, but it's very relaxing. Okay, let's remove these. I won't do any more deliveries up here. Uh, in the meantime. Let's just remove all of these combinators for now. Whoops. That's fine, actually. I think it's easier to have that variable rocket still. Like, how do you supply space belts underneath these splitters without creating a new rocket every time? Um, well, uh, we're actually using all of these automatically now, but this system I set up earlier, you can basically put what you want to fill the rocket with into a constant combinator, and it'll sort out the rest. I'm doing it in very simple standard way, like train loader. Hard part is to judge how big the buffer to keep in orbit for each item. So I just adjust constant combinator and amount of chests. Yeah, I think if you want to fully automate it, um, you'll save yourself a lot of trouble by just accepting not keeping the rocket uh, not not making sure the rocket is full every time you send it. Need to be really careful not to run a deconstruction planner over any invisible crafting combinators. Come to think of it, I'll be able to pick up a lot of speed modules from here. I'll definitely be able to uh, fill out those ones that we didn't have over here earlier. Mostly stream Tarkov and LOL. Factorio can get hectic, but that is part of the fun. Yeah. Well, it doesn't have to. You can play it on peaceful if you want. I'm doing it in very simple standard way, like train loader. Oh yeah, I read that already. Uh, I don't need this right now. Alright, let's go replace those modules before I forget. Also, we didn't replace this part earlier. 
Robo pod off before more bots jump out. Are you playing with any mods? Yes. Uh, basically, space exploration plus some quality of life mods. Thanks, Evil Plot. Uh, so all of those other mods are either something that comes with space exploration. Well, actually, I haven't listed the ones that come with space exploration. Um, the rest of them are either little quality of life things or a UI that helps you plan the base or things like that. Do I not have any belt? I do not have any belt. Okay. Um, I thought there was a chunk missing here, but that's actually... I think that's just part of the design. I think I tried space exploration. I don't remember it, though. Uh, space exploration is kind of like a very, very big extension to vanilla. Alright, so let's go across these one by one. I want to make sure that I remove all of the requests. Where's the part? This one. So the combinators I'm removing right now are the ones that say if we've got less than a certain amount, ask for a train load. Already done this one. Is this the last one? Nope, second last. Uh, if this is fully intact, I might just leave it, though. I thought all but one of the Omni Smelters, the old ones, got completely, or at least partly messed up. But this one seems to be ticking along, so I may just leave it for now. Same applies here. What's your problem? You're set to manual for some reason. Oh, probably this train got destroyed and then the bots replaced it, perhaps? Okay. Are you stuck? You are... Okay, the fact that we've got uh, requests for fuel in these things uh, really suggests to me that this train got destroyed earlier. It's on manual at the moment. Except how did it get destroyed if it was way over there? Maybe it was rebuilt somewhere and then moved? I don't know. Let's just send this one back to the depot as well. How's this train doing? Thought I was going to get run over. Looks like we're okay. Still getting that... Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that won't make a difference. Okay. 
I am going to go back to base. Get resupplied. Take a short break while that's happening. And have a look at what needs to be done next with slightly fresh eyes. Back in a moment. Take care, young Jesus. Hey, Veldak, thanks for the yay train. And, uh, Ur as well. Alright. Um, I think I would like to build a couple more of the new Omni Smelters, for starters. We could probably we could build one up here as soon as there's room. Um, I think I'll drain these stations and, you know, replace this stuff with better Omni Smelters off stream. It's going to be a pretty long task. Definitely a podcast task. Um, I do have some furnaces on me, so why don't I head over there right now? I just need some room in my inventory first, so my butts can come back. Let's go. Just spending some points. A I am suck. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And let's get started. Maybe I should put the batteries like here, 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 and here so that the robo ports only have one place to go when I shift click. Yeah, that seems like a good idea actually. I'm also still carrying way too many uh, pipes, among other things. Although my inventory will definitely get... Where did my rocket fuel go? Uh-oh. Is it walk of shame time? 
No, I just don't have jetpacks in my armor. That was weird. Oh, that's right. Okay. So, what we're going to do... I don't think I've updated the blueprint for this since I made a couple of minor fixes. So we'll do a copy paste. And this goes right about here. And as soon as the batteries are drained... Uh, as soon as our batteries drain, we'll swap out the location for the batteries and see what we can do there. I might persuade myself to take more personal batteries and a little bit less jetpack as well. But on the other hand, three Mark II jetpacks is just enough to outrun the behemoth biters. So maybe not. Um, before we drop all of the belt over here, I would like to head on over to our chemical plants down here and make sure we drop these ones. Oh, that was... that was quick. Okay. No, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, okay, they've got nowhere to go, apparently. I would have thought they would return to base. Um, are they going to return to me if I do this? Or are they just too far? They're not too far from a RoboPort network. You would think they would go back here. Uh, well, let's swap this while we're empty anyway. And I think... Yeah, that works well. I like that. Okay, cool. I guess I should just pick these guys up directly. Place down a storage chest. I don't want them to fly away somewhere or something. There's only at, at most a hundred of them. I'll just pick them up. Did I run out of rail as well? I did. Uh, one, two, three, like ten of them over this way. Oh, that's going to be difficult to not mess up. Okay. Do you by any chance program in Java? Uh, I don't really program for a long time, but I did, yes. What did I just undo? Uh, maybe we should paste this here again. In fact, I'll just pick up the bots and then paste it. Uh, one, two... And this one? Is that all of them? I think so. Okay. Uh, and I wanted to bring them all down here before they throw away all the belt. I want to get this one fixed. Have you heard about the latest huge problem? Log4j has security hole, which could load and run code on a server just by forcing application server to log special string. Rip. Do you think this is like super Java specific or to some extent 
the kind of thing that happens with uh, more high-level abstract languages. I did Java 2 a long time ago. I was pretty good with Java, but that was almost 20 years gone. The main things I remember about Java is it's portable and inefficient, right? Java specific, it's a bug in most common logging library called Log4j. Okay. We're going to need a lot of belt for this. Um, in fact, we're going to need about 1.7 thousand. So we should be able to do it in two trips unless our inventory was too full. Already patched, but people have to deploy it to their servers. Java is pretty efficient, that's a common misconception, going like 15 to 20 years back. Is it a outdated misconception, as opposed to just being flat wrong? Uh, one thing I would like to do uh, is mess around with Factorio modding. Um, when I've got an extreme overabundance of time again. Okay, uh, let's go back for more stuff, I guess. Oh, but before we do, we'll swing by... Never mind. Uh, swing by the chemical plants and stuff. I think there were some... Yeah, there's just some speed modules missing still. I've been having a weird issue with Java not being able to open up a VM 64-bit, even though that's the only version I have installed. Odd. Similar goes to Python. Python is slow, but depends how it's used and what for. Yeah, I never, uh, I never really used Python, but from what I understood, it was um, uh, great for beginners. And obviously, you'd have to scale. You'd have to be doing some, quite a lot before you run into the point where you care too much about its efficiency, right? I've run out of chests as well. There's just a few here missing. Alright, back to base. I think there's going to be quite a lot of... Problems caused by the biter attack that I won't necessarily find for a while. Um, definitely sending these guys back to the depot will help a little bit. Um, oh, here come the bots. Oh my goodness, what's causing all these jobs? Oh, it's the, um, the trash train, of course. I should probably, I should probably limit this to just a couple of, uh, active provider chests for each cargo wagon. Oh, and you need a, 
Actually, no. You need to be removed because I don't have anywhere to put you. How do I remove locomotive only? I think I need to make a deconstruction planner. That should do it. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about that train that I... Th it was actually just a cargo wagon. I slapped a locomotive on it and sent it back here. But these are vanilla trains. We've only got two of them and there's only two stations for them. Okay. Oh my god, what's happening to our power? Let me guess. Our nuclear plants have stopped because... Actually... Our steam turbines have been doing almost nothing for quite a while. So why now? Accumulator just dropped off a cliff in the middle of the night. Um, what time is it now? It's morning. Did a bunch of accumulators get disconnected from the power network? Did we consume a whole lot more? What's this? Laser turret. Okay, that's actually really scary. Um, why did we suddenly... I th think I know the answer. Um, okay. This is something we needed to do at some point anyway. Let's patch this blueprint. Uh, is it? It's this one. We need to update these combinators. And remove a bunch of these accumulators. Um, I actually set up a circuit, where is it, way down here, don't tell me I removed it, no, here it is, uh, 28, for two laser turrets supported by two solar panels and an accumulator, uh, and no need to fire, um, the minimum accumulator charge after it gets fully charged, just because of the night and day cycle, is 28. So I think we'll set these to uh, flip the power switch when we drop down to 20%. Uh, very important that this is on a power network that is not powered by these solar panels and accumulator. Because the laser turrets will super prioritize taking the power, and the combinators will not actually trigger. Okay, so less than 20%, we red alert, we switch the power switches on. Greater than 99%, we switch them off. And this goes here. Let's update this blueprint. I could probably have done this without the bots actually building this. Uh, I didn't think we set this up with stone walls. But apparently we did. We can always run an upgrade planner over it. Oh, that's right. I wanted it to be vanilla compatible when I made this blueprint. Okay, select new contents. Looks like we didn't pick up anything extra. Okay, save blueprint, and then paste this one over it. Update these combinators, less than 20. Yep, 
rid of these extra accumulators because they keep dying anyway. Twenty and twenty. Select new contents. Wait, that was the right one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Select new contents. Like so. Cool. And now we can delete this for now. Okay, back to base. Make sure we get resupplied. Um, probably don't need quite so much of this. Don't need any more fuel refineries, I'm pretty sure. Or oil refineries for that matter. Uh, centrifuges. Did I place those? E yes, I did. Do we have no more uranium here? Correct. I hope we didn't lose like a million uranium if that chest got destroyed. It looks like it did. Ah, uh, rip. So the only uranium we're getting at the moment is from core mining, um, which is not happening at the moment, actually. Uh, that is a bit concerning. It's probably because we don't have much power. Accumulator. Where's our core mining trolls? Uh, anywhere? Core mining. There hasn't been any activity from coal mining for 10 minutes. Uh, that's a bit of a worry. Probably the nuclear plants are not running is what I was going to say earlier. They are not. Alright, so our first priority, I think, is to get those working again. The reason they're not working is they're not being given fuel. The reason they're not being given fuel has something to do with... Oh, there's no iron plate here. And even though this got rebuilt by the robots, uh, it's actually not set up to receive iron plate. Okay. So, this is just not connected here, or here. Probably could have done this remotely, but let's find out. Um, request threshold, 40 stacks. Iron plate, 4,000. Uh, long trains. High priority train is coming, and let's make absolutely sure that it's going to get here. It looks like this is one of the Omni Smelters that didn't get touched, so that should be fine. Okay. Is our train coming, or is it stuck somewhere? 
Oh, there it is. Fantastic. Here it comes. I wonder why these wires were not here when this got rebuilt. We haven't seen the same thing happen with other stations. That's not to say it hasn't happened. But all of these are still connected. That one... Oh no, I deliberately removed that. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so now we're making nuclear fuel. And now we have a train coming to get the nuclear fuel. Is the train able to leave? Looks like it. Okay. I think we're going to be okay now. Uh, let's continue building that Omni Smelter since our inventory is chock full of stuff for it. Not enough space in chest. This is... Oh, this is the one that got destroyed. Is the chest actually full? It is definitely not full. Okay, so I think we just have to do the rotate trick. Not enough space in chest. It doesn't have the correct combinator settings. Okay, um... So these ones are going to be behind right. Uh, let me remove that. I just remove that partly to know that I have changed the settings. Not that it does anything if that's grayed out. Uh, discard fluids doesn't matter. Empty inside of hands. Keep crafting until zero. And this one is behind right. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Why are you still doing this? Chest is definitely not full. You've got all the correct settings. I think we're going to have to do a little rotation dance for this one. And I bet if I change this manually... No? Okay. I wonder why this one didn't need to be rotated. Um, luckily, there aren't as many... ...combinators to do this with, with this build. Since we're going full speed beacon. I think that one was already working. And then the left side ones, or rather the behind left ones. Uh, copy. That seems to be working. I wonder if I rotate it and then change it. Does that matter? It does matter. Interesting. Okay, so that's all working now. Looks like it. Fantastic. Let's move on to the new one. Also, I should have... Why are these guys all stuck? Oh. Is this what I think it is? No? You're full. 
You're trying to go to here. You're in the way. These chests of gold, you should not be here. Negative 55k iron ore plus 50 times 24 times 48, 57,600. So it should have a positive number. Therefore, this train should not be arriving here. Request stack threshold is a full train load. I, I don't know why this has happened. Uh, maybe it was here before we fixed everything and some combinators got destroyed, actually. Okay, we should see the same thing here. Yeah, it's the same problem. Alright, just go back to depot. AT hacks, how did the repairs go? Fix the wall up as well? Yep. Uh, fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we had a few crashes, so I keep having to redo things that I th think I've already done. But let me just put this here so we can always see in the future. Um, we haven't reinforced it super well yet, but this is obviously decent for now. Um, I actually cleared the biters out to the edge of the pollution cloud near this breach. And we've mostly been doing repairs since. Because uh, they broke a lot of things, which had domino effects. So currently we are building another Omni Smelter. Oh. I was literally just about to turn these constant combinators off. To make sure we didn't send trains here before we're ready, but... We'll just have to build it instead. Yeah, uh, something I started doing just recently is making sure when you make a blueprint for LTN stations, for drop-offs, make sure you turn the constant combinator off. Unless you want LTN to schedule... Uh, trains coming here before the rail is in place. However, it was a copy-paste job this time, because I made some minor tweaks to uh, these builds, and I haven't blueprinted them just yet. I really need this rail in place. I wish I could tell the bots to prioritize things. Well, I think I've said this before, but I really wish you could make blueprints with um, priority levels for different objects in the blueprint. Um, that would actually completely do away with the need to have six different blueprints for this uh, gigantic wall. Yeah, right now I just want them to prioritize the rail. Here comes one of the... Nope, it's going somewhere else. That seems a very roundabout way to get there. Oh, it's because this train was in the way. Here we go. Fantastic. I think we do have enough rail to get this part finished as well. Put down the signals. I need to bring way more chests.
of these builds. This is indeed a lengthy build. Let's do some more bots. At least until we run out of energy. Which is not taking very long. Mostly just way too many. Maybe I should have changed these to be undergrounds, just so there's far fewer items to carry to build this. Um, I do kind of like the look, though, being able to see that all of these belts are saturated at a glance. Are we starting to get a little pause every time we place a signal? No? I thought I saw a little tiny hitch when the bot placed a signal. Alright, so... Inserters and chests. Uh, also belt, but not that much. Mostly just lots of inserters and chests, it looks like. Let's head back. We've got some chests over here we can salvage, actually. Let's do it. And then these ones. Didn't realize how empty this was already. Fantastic. That'll help. More than I realized, actually. I don't think we're going to get this built in one go. Alright, back to base then. I want to adjust the requests a little bit though. Uh, 
that's a bit much to say the least. Hey, Christoph King. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Was there anything else I was requesting just a ludicrous amount of? It's probably fine. What are you waiting for? Oh, I see. Oh, we've still got weird traffic jams over here. Or is it just because there's only a couple of Omni smelters that are going at a decent pace? This one is stuck and confused. Uh, we'll have to sort that out directly. Uh, I think I see the problem. Same thing happened with sand as with those other stations. Okay, back to base. And what about you? Same thing again. How many of these bonus trains got sent here? Also, I meant to check the... LTN settings. Um, delivery timeout. 10 minutes is not enough. This is probably really excessive. I think... Uh, probably one hour is pretty reasonable. Okay, is this all working now? We're about to find out. There's hardly any iron, so that's not going to fill up. Uh, how many? Okay, is there not a train limit here? Train limit six. Okay, there's your problem. That was a typo. Yeah, that's that's. That's going to cause some issues. I think that was the only one set up that way. Let's check the others. Train limit six. And shockingly, this ended up being full. Train limit one, one, and one. That shouldn't be a problem. And up here. One, six, one. Okay, cool. Alright, so we definitely need more power. And it's going to take a minute before we stop seeing ludicrous traffic over here. But it looks like it's going to sort itself out. Oh, are you stuck? Uh, that shouldn't have happened. Request stack threshold is 200. Oh, some of these are... Okay, we're gonna have to go over there again. There was something broken over here that I need to visit directly as well. Uh, 
I thought we'd just gotten past the point of running around fixing things all the time. The biters had other plans. How many repair packs do we have up here? Where is a chest? There we go. We have zero? No, it's that's filters. Okay. Um It would be really nice if repair packs was included in these stats that you can see here. We're definitely requesting repair packs. Why are you stuck? Uh, lovely. Okay, how about you go back to the small depot to get emptied? I thought I did this earlier, but apparently we've got a problem. Um... Okay, that's good. And what about this one? Still waiting on a whole lot of items. It looks like this got stuck. Let's go have a look. It's not full. We are requesting roboports. We actually don't have them. That is pretty concerning. How's our main bus looking? There's... Every type of item except red circuits and blue circuits are a little slow. Yeah, we're just slow on red circuits. Uh... Very slow compared to what we need right now. Oh, it's because it's filling up the rocket still. Okay. Um, what I might do for now is just... How much is that going to limit? I'm still asking for 9.8k. Is there, way, is there a way that I can have a low priority, high volume bot request? That sounds like a tall order. Okay, for now I'm just going to change this to like 200, maybe less. How fast are we actually making these red circuits? If this is getting fed at full speed, which it's not, that would only be 23 per second. Um, it looks like the... We're almost getting 45 copper cable per second. Is that the bottleneck? It's very much the bottleneck. Okay, I think we're overdue to build red circuits in the rail blocks. Um, but now, I would like to just not have the bots bring quite so many red circuits over here at a time. We've actually got 99,000 uh, red circuits up here already, so that's good. So it doesn't really matter if we slow this to a crawl for now. Come to think of it, if anything, the volume of that request should be proportional to the rate of consumption of red circuits up here. We could actually calculate that. Uh, it's pretty tricky. But it is possible. Something to think about in future. But it's probably better just to 
uh, set it the throughput for red circuits coming here a little bit higher. It's hilarious how space exploration keeps throwing all those emergencies at the player, but it's not regular emergencies. I fix this and I'm back to what I was doing 10 minutes ago. It takes hours. I mean, it's partly my fault, just the uh, the way I've designed things. I really need to not forget to take chests and inserters over here. Let's do it right now before I forget. Uh, chests and inserters. And away we go. And I think I will give myself more robo ports and grab a drink while this is sorting itself out. And then we don't have it have to do the rotation thing. All right, be right back. Thanks, so there's one person yay train again, Veldek. Alright, so we need to do... Uh, we need to check these and rotate them again. This is behind left. Uh, yeah, it is behind left. Okay. How about building a block with red, blue, green circuits and belting it straight into a rocket? Sounds good to me. Although I've already got a block for just green circuits, so it already makes sense just to frame them in.
Oh, that's wrong. Behind right. Oh, that one's already working. Why, why did that one work and not its neighbors? It's rather odd. Um... And then this one's actually already working. Behind left, those three. All right, have we completed the rituals and appeased the machine spirit? Looks like it. Noises works, they wake up chat. <laughs> okay. I had 40k points yesterday, I have 15,000 left. Nice. How about building a block with those three? Uh, every time Veldak, I will do one push up. Not really. Every time Veldak spams noises. Blue chips eat lots of green chips. It might be worth making dedicated green chips just for blues. That's not a bad idea, actually. Um, so let's see. If we do... And we could have overflow green circuits for pickup, I guess. Same thing for red, more importantly. Um, so we would need copper, stone, plastic, and is it just sulfur after that? Yeah, copper, stone, plastic, and sulfur. That shouldn't be too difficult, especially with LTN. We can do all this with uh, just the usual couple of stations up the top. Um, why is this not making steel? Because iron plate is not reaching the end of the belt. Because we've run out of iron plate. That makes sense. Are we bringing more iron plate? Yes, we are. Fantastic. Oh, and those are some of those trains that I needed to intervene manually with. I think if we're going to do a big design like that, we might jump into... Uh-oh. Um... Okay. I think if we're going to do a big design like that, we might jump into the super editor. Especially because we've got so many little fires that we need to put out in the main game at the moment. Alright, so you didn't get all of your... Oh, it's because you came here with stone. Well, there's your problem. I really wish I could add a condition to the depots uh, that the cargo has to be empty before they leave. But unfortunately, no matter what I do with that, LTN replaces it with five seconds of inactivity, which is not necessarily sufficient under extreme circumstances. Is my inventory too full? Yes, it is. Okay, let's rebalance this. Get this copper out of my inventory. And then I can pick these up. And the next train will be fine. Probably the same... Nope. This one is just... Ah.
if we're going to have a precise balanced loader, I mean, if we're going to have a precise loader, unless we only have four chests, we need to make the make sure there's a little bit extra before a trip is scheduled. Okay. Off you go. And here's our confirmation that this one works. Is there any way to make a logic clock in vanilla? Absolutely. I'll do it right now if you like. Just want to see this work first. Perfect. Alright, how to make a clock. Uh, the first thing you need if you're making a clock is a timer, which needs a memory cell. Uh, should we build it over here? How about down here? As soon as we get some of this extra stuff out of our inventory. We're carrying an awful lot of chests. Um, hold on. Before we do that, can we fit another one of these up here? We can. We'll need to mess with that rail again. That'll be fine. Oh, the bots are helping. Um, because I've got all this stuff in my inventory, I want to drop some of it before we do the clock thing. Just wondering, because I am the kind of crazy who will make my rockets be filled with an adaptive amount of goods until the combined rate of items equals full rocket. Uh, you can read whether the rocket is full or not in a number of ways without a clock if that's what you mean um it actually for one thing outputs uh well let me go over here first real quick and we'll get the bots to start doing that thing oh that is a lot of bots um we're going to run out of battery charge real fast if we do that with an Omni Smelter build. Actually, can we fit this down here? E yes, I like that more. We'll have a block of four Omni Smelters here when we're done. Uh, first thing I want to do, though copy this part, turn off RoboPort, Cliff is in the way, okay, um, copy all of this, place it here, and I want to make sure these are switched off until we're ready. All right, how big is our robo range? That's pretty good. Okay. So, how to make a clock. Oh, and there's a few ways to read if the cargo rocket is full, by the way. It can auto-launch when it's full, um, but also it'll tell you the number of empty and full slots it's got. Uh, but anyway, clocks specifically, uh, if you, you can use a decider or an arithmetic combinator for this. Uh, if you connect a combinator's input to its own output, it will hold on to a signal. Uh, the reason for this is because... Why is transfer, uh, transfer information instantaneously? Why is it taking so long for this to get built? All of the construction bots are available. 
They're just being lazy. Alright, how's our build going over here? It's going to take a while. Um, seriously, why is it taking this long? Do we have combinators? We do. Finally. Okay. Uh, it takes one tick for a combinator to take an input and then next tick it after it's done something with it it'll output it takes zero ticks for information to travel across a wire so if you connect this thing's input to its own output you've created the smallest possible circle um, and this will actually output what it's receiving on its input from one tick ago, which holds on to a signal indefinitely. Uh, so we'll feed it a little bit of a signal here. Um, I'll turn this off. So the constant combinator is no longer outputting. Uh, we have currently a signal of 33T on the decider combinator. And what's happening every tick is it outputs 33. Instantaneously, it crosses the wire. Uh, it gets to the input. And next tick, it's going to do whatever a combinator is set to do and output based on that, which in this case is just output everything. Uh, if you connect a constant combinator to this, you now have, excuse me, if you connect a constant combinator to this, you now have a timer. Uh, 60 ticks is one second, unless your game is running a bit slower, uh, but it is one in-game second. Um, if you set this to, say, T is less than 120, um... I always get a little bit confused as to whether this would have to be, like, less than or less than or equal to. You can figure it out if you look at it closely, but this will be about two seconds. Think this way, make unit of time lower and lower until it's basically each tick, and suddenly you don't need a timer. Without a measurement of time unit of any kind, it's going to be hard impossible to gauge X items on the space platform are being consumed per Y time unit for cargo packing purposes. I do have a circuit for that. Um, where is it? Uh, I don't remember where I put it. It's found here somewhere. Periodic counter. Yeah, this is it. Uh, this is actually not my creation. But... Basically... Uh, you've got a timer... And a memory cell. And then a timer and a memory cell. And you're outputting... Uh, every time this timer resets, you're outputting the count of how many items this inserter has picked up through to this, uh, the next part of the circuit, um, and then resetting the count for this and comparing it once every, uh, once every cycle. Um, it's a little bit hard to follow to say the least. Actually, until I go back there, there's no way to put something on the belt. I think. Looks like we're done. I was wrong.
I still need the per tick timer, which I don't know about. Uh, yep, that's what we've got right here. Um, I don't remember if I've posted this. Uh, I don't think I did. It's not my creation after all. I don't remember who, where I got it. Um, let's see. All right, let's let's go play with it as soon as our bots have calmed down. Our ticks per second are constant. Oh yeah, there's 60 ticks, uh, 60 ticks per second, unless your game slows down, but there's 60 ticks every in-game second. Uh, so currently we're running at 57, 58, 59, 60 units per second. Um, typically, if you're not doing like a mega base or insane numbers of biters, or maybe streaming. Um, Factorio will run at 60 uh, all the time. Okay, let's um, let's head back to base for the moment. And I would like to not request quite so much of all the stuff. What was the other thing? Chests is 100. Uh, there was something that was filling my inventory. I don't remember. Oh, better let the bots come back first. Preparing for today, just wanted to hop in and say hi and good luck, have fun. Hey, Diablo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Speaking of gigantic mega bases, uh, Diablo... I'm sure is still building, was it eight blue belts of each science was the goal? On expensive, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a big one. Uh, it gets, it's big enough that you start seeing some weird things happen placing blueprints. Or is that just because of placing it in the fog of war? Um, okay. So here we have... Are you insane? Uh, Winolf, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so what this does is... Uh, this is the first memory cell. It's counting how many times we pick up this chain signal every 3,600 ticks. That is uh, one minute, I think. Yeah. So every... Oh, we're low on power again. Wait, did we not get the nuclear plants working? Oh, no. Um... We got the nuclear fuel getting built. 249. Is there fuel over here? I see no fuel here. But... We've got small trains sitting in the depot. Oh, I think I know what happened. No, no, no. Because once I got the fuel here, this created a request. So it's not like here where the wires got destroyed somehow. 249. Five stack threshold. Are we actually... Oh, we've run out. Oh, that's a problem. That's... That's a pretty big problem, actually. Um... Maybe we should have finished this other... Well, the problem is we don't have ore. Uh, there's some uranium ore down here. About half a million. I 
think there's some more. Oh, there's 1.1 million over here. Okay. In all the excitement of the base getting completely destroyed and rebuilding it, among other things, I kind of forgot the whole uranium issue. But also, we should have an infinite supply of it, albeit a bit slow. But we do know that that's too slow to keep the reactors going. So annoying, there's too many entities, so it takes forever before it gets around to issuing the placement order for the robots. Hours sometimes. Wow. I realize I'm getting into a bit of a lesson on the wiki, so we focus on your nuclear power. Oh no, that's fine. Um, let's do this first. It's daytime, we've got power. Okay, so... Uh, currently we are at 25 times that this has gone round. Uh, every minute we reset this timer. And... Uh, here we have... It looks like we did 30. Uh, basically, we have another memory cell here. And once every 3600 ticks, we compare them. And... Or do we compare them, or do we just override it? I think we override it. Okay, so let's try pulling this apart and figuring out how it works. Uh, this part is just your regular timer. It's got some unnecessary variables, strictly speaking. But we've got I for I don't know what, and T for how long it's going to go for. Normally I would go T for ticks here, and we could do some other... You could hard code this here, or I don't know what you'd call it. Um, but yeah, this is just ticking up to 3600, or maybe one below 3600. Um, we take the time and put it into here. Okay, so if... So we output R for reset once every circuit, uh, once every, what's the word I'm looking for? Once every uh, period. When R equals zero, only when R equals zero, we output. There's probably some unnecessary combinators here, but that's fine. So once every 3,600 ticks, we output everything from this. I thought this was our... If R equals zero... Oh no, it's um once every 3,600 ticks, we stop outputting this. Yeah, once every 3,600 ticks, we reset this. Okay, so this is a, a memory cell counting this that we reset, uh, reset once per minute. That's all pretty straightforward. We can now set this aside and cup, compartmentalize that mentally and think of it abstractly. So we've got a counter resetting once per minute. From there, we put the count into here. Uh, I equals zero. If I equals T. Okay, I think this has to happen one tick after this. This is going to be one of those circuits where timing is very important. Um, if I equals 3600, output R. This is 3600, one tick later. When R equals zero up here, we're doing this. One tick after that, we're resetting this one. So two ticks. I think when I equals two, or is it one? Uh, this is blank. We could verify that by going into editor mode and stepping through it frame by frame. Uh, when I equals zero, 
output, everything input count. Okay, and that goes up here. So I think this is just receiving whatever the count is here right before it resets. And then uh, we output that to both this one and this one. H times negative one output H. That's an output, so it doesn't matter. So it's only this goes to here. Why do we get the negative one of... Is that even necessary? When i is equal zero, output everything input count, that should only happen for one tick. And then one tick later, we get the negative of that input to here when it shouldn't be outputting anything to begin with. I could be wrong, but it sounds like this combinator is unnecessary. Uh, and then... If tick equals... T so this is an unconditional memory cell. Oh, I see. Well, this is... This one is to reset this memory cell, but if i equals zero, if i is less than t, output i, i should only be zero for one tick. So this, this should only work for one tick. In which case, outputting the negative of what was here to this shouldn't accomplish anything, but I must be wrong about that. But the point is, um, that this is just a memory cell that gets overwritten, uh, yeah, this memory cell gets given the value of this thing at the end of this, uh, period, and it gets wiped right before it gets written to. Or is it the 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 concept of it I can follow, but the structure of it, the shape of it is I wouldn't expect that to work. Also a good game, maybe today even better. What have I done to it? <laughs> no, this is part of this is normal, don't worry. Okay, what were we procrastinating? Uranium? Uh, fine, I'll make a uranium mine. Let's do the one that has a million left first. When I use something like negative of all signals, I often have adjacent wire to be Mergeed? What is this word? With negative wire and I place another combinator on that adjacent wire, which just multiplies input by one, just to keep all changes in a time-wise phase merged. Okay. Um, I wonder if I could recreate that well, I'm sure I could recreate it. I wonder if I can bring the combinator count down a bit. Mad Beast, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's grab our sulfur included mine. Wait, is that one going to be necessary? Yes. Yes, it is. Let's do this one here. Uh, these two are not going to have speed beacons, but that's fine. Alright, go.
raid. Hey, Seifercat, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I got two of those notifications at the same time, so the first one I saw was the follow. It came up more recently. How was your stream? I mean, meow. Dagoo, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I have no power here. It was good, just got CME'd and not much really happened. Uh, do you mean the CME pretty much missed? Two notifications at the same time really reminds me of two recipe combinators at the same time from earlier. Two recipe combinators at the same time. I remember, I remember it being pointed out why the recipe combinators weren't working, but I actually don't remember what was wrong with them. Um, is this gonna... Okay. That'll be fine. And I'm gonna be real lazy for the moment. Wait, was that? I thought that was biters for a second there. Okay, let me bring this over here. It's gonna wait, where am I? I'm lost. Alright, that should do it. Uh logistic brain stop. Actually, I have a blueprint. LTN pickup station left. And let me just double check because some of these settings might be. Yeah, that's out of date. That should be a stack threshold. It's much more universal. Uh, provide stack threshold, max train one. Minimum size 6, maximum size 6, and that should do it. Oh look, I'm almost nostalgic. This is the old way I used to do balanced loaders. Alright, what's our rate coming out of this? Um, actually, I just want to check something. If we put in the slightest bit of electricity, does that make rate calculator count the beacons? Also, I need more productivity modules. Okay, 11.06 per second. Uh, unpowered beacons will not be accounted. Okay. 11.06 per second. Isn't that what it said here? 11.132 That's... That doesn't sound like... A significant increase. What about now? 42... Okay, that's interesting. Wait, does rate calculator actually... If rate calculator can account for lack of power in a solar-only system, I'd be very impressed. Alright, let's go get some more productivity modules. Max rate cake calculator does. Yeah, I might have to give that one a try. I'm not... I like a uh, rate calculator, but I'm not terribly impressed having to power beacons just to check uh, the rate. Speaking of modules, okay, that's looking a lot better. What is a crafting combinator? 
Oh, this is talking about the crashes? Yeah. We need everything on power to make the uh, rate calculator work, yep. Um, so the, a crafting combinator is a little blue constant combinator looking thing, which can set recipes for, uh, for machines based on the circuit network. Which allows us to have uh, omni smelters, even though we're using industrial furnaces, which is nice. Uh, currently, this one is not working at full output because the way I've designed it, uh, we can't keep up with half a belt for each resource with all of these uh, furnaces, but we can load chests full of resources for when we switch over uh, the recipes. So it can actually load um, all of the different resources simultaneously and build up uh, half a chest full for each one. Okay, so now that we've got that covered, looks like I've got enough prods. I'm almost tempted to just upgrade all the solar. Uranium is so much work. Alright, so this will be another million. Uh, let's do a... We could actually use the same station. We'll do a request for sulfuric acid. Uh, one thing that is difficult to do with LTN is if I wanted to have this usable for just a short fluid wagon or a long uh, cargo wagon train, uh, that would be a bit tricky to say the least. Which is why I'm going to just do it for a big fluid wagon. All right, um, I'll just configure this for uranium specifically, and then we can share the same, uh, the same wire over here. And we're going to ask for... Hmm. Stack thresholds aren't going to work with fluids. Uh, I believe it's 8,000 for... Uranium. Stacks to 50. That'll be fine for the fluid as well. Oh wait, this is provide threshold. Whoops. Okay, that's fine. Provide stack threshold is four cargo wagons. Request threshold is 100k, and we will ask for 100k sulfuric acid, and that'll be that. So here we have a fluid wagon on its way. The mod is actually five years old. Last update, 21 hours ago. That is impressive. 
What version of Crafting Combinator are you running? Mod is under active development, so I suggest testing the latest version. That's a good point. Uh, why don't we check real quick? I, what did I last save as? I think it was Space Exploration 2. Uh, load Space Exploration... Well, let's go back to the main menu first. Mods, updates. I'm pretty sure I did this quite recently. Oh, Crafting Combinator. There you go. Update selected. Um, I don't remember having Danger Ore. Oh, yes, I do. I guess it must have downloaded it when I joined that one game. Okay, confirm. And we'll jump into the same save that we started with today. Changelog said it adds some nil check, but it was for migration of old saves. So the bug's probably still there. Okay, let's find out. First thing I'll do is move away from where the biters are about to eat me. If I don't watch what's happening. And... If we do a deconstruction planner over these ghosts, we do in fact find that there's a double up of... Um, crafting Combinator. This will probably crash it. Yep. Worth a try. So that is specifically for crafting combinators that were destroyed by biters. Or presumably destroyed by something, as opposed to the normal uh, course of events. Let's see how this fits. Oh, that's perfect, actually. And over here. Oh, that's already connected. Is this actually all connected already? That's actually a pretty nice little blueprint that I don't completely remember making. Alright, so we're looking at 26 uranium ore per minute. That's weird. How did we get it to say 40 something? No, it's 36. Okay. Whatever the case, that is some uranium ore. Uh, let's merge all of this. Uh, it's less than one blue belt, so let's just merge it all together. One, two, three of these. Which way should we go? How about over here? Now let's go up. Oh. That's facing the wrong way. Actually, that should reach in this instance. And then down here. Uh, block this one. And 
that's it. Are we having problems? You are full of sulfuric acid. Oh, I haven't built the rail. That's pretty easy to fix. Careful about changing the signals here. I think I'll just leave them. Um, it's not going to be often that a train comes here, so it should be fine. Uh, I just want to double check everything's working here. As soon as we see uranium on this belt, I think we'll go. And I don't think we've actually got a uranium ore drop-off. Oh. Well, there's a short-term solution. To this little... No nuclear fuel problem. Let's just turn that around. Actually, I can probably do this remotely with the navigation satellite. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Might take a few clicks. Uh, I cannot do this remotely. Okay, let's head over there. Why are you taking so long? Can you go now? Who's stopping you? This train. What's this train doing? Not this again. Oh, you've got no path to where exactly? Oh, one of the new smelters. I forgot to switch off that particular station. Alright, let's go build it. Uh, we'll focus on getting the... the top part of that station built. And then we'll swing by the uranium. That's a lot of ammo. Oh, and I wanted to try something new with uh, that might work better for the for these variety trains. Uh, I don't think we need to pick up too much stuff right now. Maybe a lot of chests and inserters, actually. Looks like there's already a decent amount. Let's go. Yeah, this right here is causing half of the trains in the whole system to have to wait indefinitely. The train should be on its way now. Yep, that means that one can go up here, which means our sulfur train can get where it's going. Which means we should have uranium ore getting mined.
I guess we can switch these on now. Um, maybe I should hold on to a few items I might need before we come back here. Let's go. Okay, so what I'm going to do with the old... Let's pick this up while we're here. What's all this? Uh... Sure. How much of that can I carry? All of it? Fantastic. What I'm going to do with the old uranium system, just for the moment, is turn all of these around. bring this back to where it can get turned into nuclear fuel. I'm surprised that worked. Everything equals 216. It's a reading from the belt and the inserters. Oh, it returns true if there's no inputs. Yeah, everything is a weird uh, signal. But we don't need a condition on these anymore. That should be enough to saturate this. Don't need to worry about using the other half of the belt. Alright, cool. That'll keep things going for a little while. Uh, and then we should make sure we finish this uranium build over here. Which, actually, I think it's done except for the output stations. We've got our... Uh, nuclear fuel, we've got nuclear rocket fuel, uh, we could also make a couple of stations to output uranium-235 and 238, where is the, uh, I might have to revisit this one, We'll see. Should have waited a bit. It's issue number 67. Just two more. <laughs> okay. Submitted a bug report with a link to the clip. Oh, thank you, Veldak. Shane said add some new check. Okay, cool. That's one less thing for me to do. Much appreciated. Uh, there's no mineable resources here, so let's, uh, let's pump this all back here, and make this a pickup. Request threshold, I mean, provide threshold. Uh, we'll just make it, like, one. And that should bring a train here to pick this stuff up at some point. Can we pump it out of the miners? Hmm. 
why is this... It looks like we can't pump it out of the miners. Uh, that's kind of cringe. Okay. Uh, what I might do... You know what? It's too small to worry about. Let's just pick this stuff up. Reading chat backwards again. <laughs> Sorry. You did it for me. Less work for you. Means more time for streaming, which means satisfied Veldak. Uh, that works for me. Um, okay. I may have gotten my inventory to be a bit too full. Let's drop off some of this stuff. And pick up all this while we're here. head down and finish this before I go back. Oh, I'm... Oh, I do have 20 centrifuges. For some reason. I don't think I need any. Uranium products are all... Nuclear fuel. Uranium fuel cell. Uh, U-235 and U-238. We've got all of those here. Hey, there's our uranium. Uh, this is perfect timing. I need to see if this is actually working properly. It certainly looks like it is. Did it just... Wait, you're full? And this is not... Oh... Yeah, I could have done better with the belt logic here. Let's just set all of these to uh, greater than or equal to 4. Otherwise, we could have some problems. I think they are all set to 4 on this side. They have to be, yeah. And these sides I set to 8 because I thought we would end up with... Oh, it does work. It's just that we didn't have enough new stuff coming in. Except, does it bottleneck on new uranium-235? Yeah, I think we're going to have to change the logic on the belts down here. Otherwise... I, I think when I did this, I was thinking that somehow this would be outputting to the opposite side of the belt. Alright, that's fine. Let's just carefully copy-paste this over to this side. And away goes the uranium. Fantastic. 20 centrifuges, that's centrifuge. Yes. Pick up the miners in the right order, and it will enter the pipes. Yeah, that's true. Um, it was a small enough amount, I couldn't be really worried about it. Plus, we do have uh, infinite resources, albeit slowly. Hey, Lorraine Lum. Thank you for the host. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's pro Oh, wait, let me not read it backwards. I was building Uranium Line a week ago while aiming for late game design. I mathed 14 cover cent centrifuges to give about half a belt of shiny rocks. That's with prod 9 and 12 speed 9 and 8 efficiency 9. 
Yikes. <laughs> Mum, <laughs> mind showing how much lubricant you have in your base? Uh, lubricant? We've got... Oh, it's gonna... I thought it would be 100k here, but it's not. Uh, yeah, we've got quite a lot. Other than the main bus base, we've got... I think... Yeah, 200k lubricant here. And... I was gonna say same thing for the coal liquefaction, but... One of these has been taken somewhere. Uh, so we've got like 300,000... No, two for 500,000 uh, lubricant in this area. I'm sleepy. Every weekend is a sleepy weekend. Yes, that's what weekends are for. Thank you very much for the gifted sub, Veldek. Again, much appreciated. Uh, enjoy it, Lorraine Mama. And... How many production buildings for that? Uh, f what? Oh, for the lubricant? Not much. Um, they're beaconed, but each of these has just four chemical plants uh, making the lubricant. Looking forward for next Friday. Painting team will be fun. That sounds nice. Okay, uh, uranium-235 is not reaching here just yet, but it looks like it won't be long. Yeah, this stuff is really accelerated. Okay. Um, could I perhaps get the excess uranium to a train station. I think that's what this was for. Why is it blue? Iron plate request. No, that's not what we're doing here. We already got the iron plate. Um, this is rocket fuel pickup. We'll do... I think we'll do a dual station here. Uranium and uranium uh, provider. And we'll do some chests. Actually, we could do... Oh, that's five, isn't it? I kind of want to try something new here. We could just do one row of chests and have two resources. I just realized that's not something new. We've done it over here. But what we're not doing here is balancing them. Um, I guess we have to worry about... No matter how we do it, we could eventually run out of storage for 238 as opposed to 235. No, because 238 gets turned into 235. And we just want to take what's left over. How do we do that properly? I know browser or system keeps yelling it wrong. I try to correct a few times, then Google it. I just learned I pronounced coal liquefaction wrong. I was I, I did as well for a long time. I called it coal liquefaction because I just didn't read it carefully enough. Yeah, I never heard of liquefaction before Factorio. Um, so we're putting the 235 on this belt. This is the last place it goes. Uh, 
I actually kind of want to change this so that we can put this here so that we can do this. Hmm, maybe. And then just to be consistent. And this can go here. Could maybe ignore that one. Um, I want 235 and 238. Oh, we've already got this. Yeah, I don't have to worry about it. This is easy. All I have to do is split this over here. Uh, priority split left. Bring this down this way. That doesn't quite line up and makes me slightly sad. Now, I know how to do a balanced loader for each type of resource. But I'm not sure how I'm going to uh, not sure how I'm going to set it up so that we limit, like we keep an even amount of each in the chests. But I think I'll be able to figure it out. All right, so this is set filters blacklist. Copy this down here. Bonk. Wrong priority. Chest with three belt with wires. Wrong priority. No, this is correct. Uh, we want uranium 235 here. What about this one? I do want to prioritize this direction. Um, I want to get all of the nuclear fuel done. Especially the uh, uranium fuel cells. And if we're going to pick up 235 from a train, that's going to be the lowest priority. Another bunk then? Okay. No worries, a bit of spaghetti never killed anyone. <laughs> As far as we know. Prioritize the input, not the output. Oh. True. That's weird, because I hardly ever use input priority. Okay, that's good. Um, I wish I had this belt. Okay, let's get some power over here, just so it stops flashing at us for now. Uh, the first step is we're going to do the usual multi-balanced loader. We get the negative average of what's in these 24 chests, output each. And if that is, if the positive amount in the chest minus the negative average is a positive amount, it, that's what the filter inserter receives. A uh, positive amount means we've got greater than the average uh, in the chest, so we want to stop picking it up. So we set filters blacklist. Um, the only question is, can I add something in here so that we don't pick up I think I I think I know how we do this. We'll add to this green wire a big negative signal for whichever resource we don't want to pick up. And I think it's just two more decider combinators. If uh wait, no, this is a blacklist. Um 
in that case, we just have to add a positive signal. I think. Yeah. So it's going to be the same, just with a slightly different arithmetic combinator. Uh, if uranium T35 less than T38, output T38. So if we've got less 235, stop picking up the 238. And like so. Multiply that by a lot. Uh, each times a million. That should work. Uh, let's go get some belt and... It's going to be a while before we can test it. But we are making the nuclear rocket fuel now, so that's cool. Let's go back to base. When working with city blocks, do you just leave multiple unload stations that bring resources? Um, because I'm using LTN, uh, I can actually combine stations. That saves a lot of space. Um, so that'll change if I'm doing vanilla. For the Omni Smelter stations, for example, we've got two, four, six, seven stations up here, and four of them down here, but we've only got six, um train stops. Multiple unload stations that bring resources. Uh, yeah, we could technically... I mean, I actually did up here. We've got... Um, you can actually have a lot of resources in a single set of chests. If you're using belts, uh, you're going to need to limit it to five types of resource because of the filter inserters uh, can only do five at a time um, but if you want to be clever about it you can absolutely jam a lot of different resources into a small uh, number of stations uh, especially if you want to use bots you can fit 7.2 train loads of uh, of solid items in a row of chests. How do you determine what filter to set on the ins uh, inserters? I'll show you. Um, but first I'll swing by the uranium just to place that belt. And we'll see how that's going as well. Oh, that is happening way quicker than I expected. Wow, all of the centrifuges are making nuclear fuel already. That is much faster than I expected. We... Oh, wow. I must have calculated this earlier, but... We can actually pretty much keep up with the Uranium-235 here. That's cool. So I guess we'll see this thing in action not as far into the future as I thought. What's the goal of space exploration? Can you end the scenario like in vanilla but with different condition? Uh, what's the condition? I think it's... Yeah, it's like building a spaceship that can go anywhere, or something like that. Multiple winning conditions, and like in vanilla, self-imposed. Okay. Uh, 
Actually, let me just let these bots do their thing for a minute. Okay, so how this works. Oh, and I forgot this got broken as well. Um, negative 999k. Oh, I see what's happening there. Okay. All right, let's focus on the unload stations first. So uh, using LTN, we've got uh, request stack threshold. Provide stack threshold is just set very high so that this is never recognized as a provider. Um, we are requesting one train load of each of these eight resources to be sent here. So there's plenty of space left over in these chests. Um, the flashing is kind of distracting. Uh, we're sending LTN the contents of these chests on the green wire, uh, minus the negatives for requests. We read the contents of the train to set the filters on these filter inserters. Um, so they'll only be active when there's a train here. And we remove the filters for whichever items we don't want, like this row or this row of stack filter inserters to pick up. The way we do that is just a big negative signal connected to this wire right here. Uh, maybe I should look at this when the power blackout is stopped. There are a lot. Solar only without accumulators. Uh, yeah, we had some problem with uh, some problems with nuclear fuel. But that reminds me, did I actually leave room for an output? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's our nuclear fuel. Okay. Um. Speaking of which, you're kidding me. I disconnected this. Oh no. Okay, that needs fixing immediately. The base is not getting power because the inserters to put the nuclear fuel into the train is not getting power. Okay, power pole, go here, nuclear fuel, go here, nuclear fuel, go here, and base, start working again. Alright, cool. Back to... I see some big brain thoughts here? Yeah, sometimes. It's just a lot of little thoughts that have been built on top of each other. Okay, so we're using the red wire to set the filters to whatever is in the train on these stack filter inserters. And we're using the green wire here in this instance just to give it a big negative signal for each thing that we don't want it to pick up. Um... Most of these are not relevant uh, to what we're talking about here, but the layout for these signals for the different stations is sort of easier to understand. Um, so iron, copper, steel, glass goes up here, and stone, brick, concrete, plastic, and vulcanite goes here. And you can see the absence of those big negative signals um, on the wires where these filter inserters are supposed to pick them up. So that's how you get the items into the correct chests. Once they're there, um, on the green wire here, which goes to all of these filter inserters, uh, this is the counter for the sushi belt. Um, 
just ignoring the fact that it's broken for the moment because I forgot to add some signals when I brought ice into the mix. Um, we set all of these to read hand contents pulse because we are putting things onto the sushi belt and counting them, um, and also set filters blacklist. So what you've got there is, I'll do a small version of it right here. We got our little sushi belt, uh, filter inserter, counter, Set filters blacklist, read hand contents pulse. Uh, condition is just unconditional. And as soon as this puts something onto the belt, we'll have a count of it. And any positive signal will set this to a blacklist. So I'm going to put a few different items in this chest. And what's going to happen is... Oh, that's too many. No, that's five. That's fine. What's going to happen is as soon as there is something on the belt, it's not going to put any more of that type of item on the belt. It's a little hard to see. With the red, let's do yellow. Uh, what we can do on top of that is, let's say we want to put more rail on the belt. Uh, we need to give this a negative signal of, let's say, 10 more rail. But we need to pulse it in. So one way we can do that is to build a pulse generator, put a constant combinator here, connect that up and let it rip. Uh, another way we could do it, which is much easier, so I'll teach that method for now. We're just going to do read belt contents pulse right here. And whenever I put rail through this, it's going to increase the count for... Wait, that's wrong. Oh no. Uh, minor detail. Uh, each times negative one. Each times negative one. Output each. So currently this thing thinks there's six rail on the belt. Now we're going to read belt contents pulse and multiply by negative one. One, two, three, four. And now it has the correct count again. Uh, Gwynolf, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Who is they, biters? Uh, we got wrecked by biters earlier, yeah. Die World Dynamics. Okay, so we pulse in some negative numbers to this. Uh, awesome cat, thank you for the following. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And all of a sudden we can put uh, a bit more rail on this belt. So it's, it has a count of two at the moment when actually there is 10 more rail on this belt. And the reason we do it that way is set filters works on a positive number. If it's zero or negative, it won't appear. I would highly recommend Die World Dynamics mod. It's more than just space exploration from what I know. All right. I'll definitely check it out on another playthrough. Um, so, so that's what we're doing when it comes to putting these items on the big sushi belt. 
um, but obviously we're counting way more than five items. So just like we did up here, we're feeding a big negative signal, um, this time on the red wire, to these filter inserters, uh, just to remove all of the filters that we want them to ignore. And it just so happens that there is a massive overlap in which signals we need here. I had two sets of combinators to do this, but I ended up combining them. Please tell me now you got me worried. Uh-oh. Limited to the... Yes, you are limited by the five filter slots on the inserter. So that's why, for example... Okay, if we want to... If we want to say... Let's go set filters blacklist. We can put up to five types of item in here and it'll limit it. So far so good. But once we go over five, uh, depending on the arbitrary order of signals, it's going to pick up all of for example, the speed module threes. Um, if we want to, we can change the count by the way of, just like we did with this, uh, we can change the count of how many of each resource we put into this uh, by feeding it a negative number for how many extra items we want it to pick up. So this will go to 50, maybe a bit over because of stack size, um, and then stop. But if we want to do this with more than five uh, filters, what we're going to need is instead of having a bunch of blacklist signals, we only whitelist um, things that we want to pick up. Uh, to do that, we need to read what's in front of the... Um, filter inserter. Set the filters to whitelist and then remove everything that we don't want it to pick up. So we could do, if we have like a certain set of items we don't want it to pick up, we could just give it a big negative signal for those items. Or if we want to say, um, pick up 50 of whatever type of item, uh, each greater than 50, output one each, multiplied by negative 1 million. So anything, I think we get rid of this wire, uh, anything in this chest that we've got more than a hundred of, uh, more than 50 of, sorry, we will send a big negative signal of that to this filter inserter and it will remove uh, that filter. So I'll say couple of stacks of this, a couple of stacks of that, hundred of these, and as soon as we reach 50 of, I think it's going to be rail, we're going to output negative a million rail from here. Well, it's picking it up in a very arbitrary order. Um, and once we do that, it's, it removes the signal. So any zero or negative signal just doesn't appear in the filter list. Haven't played Die World, so I can't say for sure, but I'm sure everything will be okay. 
Okie dokie. Seems good. Uh, yeah, so that's, um, that's how I have so many items dropped off at a couple of stations here. Um, any questions? That was a very good showcase. No worries, thank you. Quifnix is playing Die World currently. Cool, maybe I'll check him out. I can't remember what we were doing before this. Let's, um, let's continue building. And I'd actually forgotten that I need to fix this. I also need a bunch more belt to finish this build. Okay, looks like we've placed everything we can for now. Just about. Hey, so GMO, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just finished a challenge scenario, and it wasn't satisfying. Brave new world. Die world doesn't feel enough playing once a week. Okay. Uh, let's go back and get that belt. And I should probably fix this sushi belt when I come back. Yeah, I can't blame the biters for that one. I just forgot to put in the uh, big negative signals for ice when I added it to the system, if I recall correctly. All right, let's get resupplied. And I don't need this much of these items. Okay. Back we go. Oh, don't forget to get a lot of blue belt. Uh, almost all of it, please. Okay, back to it. While the bots are doing their thing, um, I want to have a look at the uranium again. Oh, that's, that's looking good, actually. Oh, this is perfect. We've got equal amounts of both resources in these chests. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, now, how could we ensure we get Uranium-238 faster? Nope. I remember there being a reason I was using the slow inserters here. It was a sort of pseudo-balanced loader. They don't manage to pick anything up unless there's a couple of U238 uh, next to each other. And it just means 238 manages to get past them to those other machines. Hey, Mucky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. 
I'm pleasantly surprised how easy it was to design this. Oh, that is a lot of nuclear fuel. That did not take long at all. Wow. Okay, are we just about done? Not even close. Bunch of belt missing up here and here. Actually, I think we are pretty close to finishing this. We do need two industrial furnaces. I don't suppose I can handcraft those. No, I don't have concrete or electric furnaces. Wait, is it just concrete? Uh, I need eight concrete. I can't handcraft that. We've got stone brick handy. Wait, I know where I can get concrete. It's right up here. Alright, let's do it. Uh, normally I wouldn't take... I was going to say normally I wouldn't take from the sushi belt directly. And I'm not going to because it's a complete mess. Uh, concrete is up here. Now we can make our two... Uh, I need regular stone. I think that's over here. And it's in my trash slots. There we go. Two industrial furnaces coming right up. Fantastic. Um, I should have made sure these are all balanced. There we go. Sorry, need to lurk. Have some family stuff. No worries. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. And I think the build is complete. Fantastic. Okay. Time to try and fix this sushi belt. There's actually something that really bothered me about this earlier. Um, I was able to figure out half of what went wrong here, but there was something that I never did figure out, which was... Uh, how on earth we got a count of negative 9,000 ice on the sushi belt. Veldak, thank you very much again for the five gifted subs. Enjoy it, uh, Happiness Cookie, Carbonara, Nexus Null, Angel Sentinel, and Baker Staunch. Much appreciated. Thanks again, Veldak. So, the first step is to drain the sushi belt. Thank you very much, Benny B, for the bits as well. And... Well, we've got a hundred steel chests, so I think we'll have enough to make that happen. It's going to be a bit of a nuisance dealing with what we end up with after that, but what can you do? Oh, cannon shell just... I guess that makes sense. What are we trying to send to space right now? Um, nothing. That's why it's flickering like this. Oh, there we go. We're trying to send copper, glass, iron... So the way this system works is if there's anything in the delivery cannon chest, uh, we do not send any signal downstairs. And that's just each times one output C, C has to be equal to zero. And then we pass through what's on this red wire. 
Um, and then we just have if, for example, explosives is less than 5,000 output, not explosives, but delivery cannon capsule explosives. Uh, the reason for that, bonk. Step three, fail. Step four, cry in a corner. Oh no. Second step, give ongoing sushi belt input priority. Yeah, you definitely want um, input priority to be... Well... I think I was doing that before, but I changed it for some reason. In the case of this sushi belt, we're being very careful about when we put items on it. But normally it would be a good idea to uh, priority input the... Uh, sorry. Yeah, priority input what's already on the sushi belt. Alright, let's uh, add a couple more of these. Hopefully we can get it all. Nope. Stack inserters don't pick up multiple types of items any better than other inserters under circumstances like this. Uh, yeah, but the red wire, what we're receiving from this is the, not copper plate, but the recipe cannon capsule copper plate signal. Uh, the reason we're doing it that way if we didn't have these signals, we could use just, like, A, B, C or something. And these uh, filter inserters that put the delivery cannon capsules into the delivery cannons are set to respond to those signals. Um, but the reason we're using a different signal is we don't want to count it on the sushi belt. So on the red wire we receive that information from upstairs but also on the red wire we send a signal to count negative one when we take something off the sushi belt. Keep priority input on the sushi belt so it doesn't get stuck. It may get filled with the wrong thing but at least it'll Pass by all the stations where stuff can get picked up. Yep. You fixed that filled with the wrong thing. Except the negative 9k ice. Yeah, I never figured out how we got the negative... It's now negative 10k. Uh, negative 9k ice. So, is this sushi belt empty now? believe it is. Uh, I think we might also have to... We, we count what goes onto the sushi belt when these inserters pick something up. But if I pick this up... Oh no, that's fine. Okay, cool. Alright, so we drain all of this as well. Uh, basically, this is already on the sushi belt. Let's do it like this. And... More crap in chests. Okay, so once we've completely drained what is considered to be the sushi belt, we can reset the counter to zero. Uh, and then it will immediately start putting things onto the sushi belt. We also need to pulse in a bunch of negative numbers to say that we're allowed to pick up 200 more copper plate, for example. Always be crafting. 
Okie dokie. Alright. Uh, so we did add the ice to this thing. Recipe delivery cannon capsule ice. I'm pretty sure I added ice to all of these constant cut. Not this one because that's down here. Negative one million water ice. Negative one million water ice. Negative one million water ice. Okay. Uh. Oh, that's right. Okay. We can fix this. We need to give it... We need to put a positive signal... on the sushi belt... for how much ice it thinks we have. So once that goes positive, we can turn this off. And now we stop trying to put ice on the belt. Cool. Let's see if I can pick up all of the ice right now. That's not good enough. Alright. Ice goes back in here. Um, ice. Ice. Baby. Okay. We'll have to do the same thing for all of the other resources. But it looks like that won't be too difficult. Just a reminder to chat what's happening on the stream. We started making astronomical science packs yesterday and... And then life happened. Yes, indeed. Um, Alright, we can put off... Is this full? It is full. Okay. Wait, we're still trying to put stone... Something's wrong here. Did I not add stone to... Oh, we put stone up here. Wait, how did this happen? We've got stone in both sides of this thing. I think it's because stone arrived here before I set this up properly. Okay, so stone belongs bottom right. Um, I think. Yeah, stone goes bottom right. So we need to drain that one of stone. And we've already got the blacklist for stone over here. And... It's removed from there so it doesn't clutter up the whole thing. Um, there should be no water ice. Wait, what? Water ice negative a million, but it went up to like 10 million. 20 million, it was way too quick. Okay, that'll be fine. Once we reset the count. The rest of these should not have five filters. Except they do because ice. Okay. Blacklist full? Yep. Yeah. But it's, ac it's, it's actually at exactly five, I think. It wasn't just a weak spot, uh, such AMO. We had double-sized biters attacking for some reason. Like, double behemoths. It wasn't a particularly weak spot. Alright, so that's all of the stone gone. Fantastic. Uh, I think we are now ready to... reset... 
the count. Get rid of these. This is one of the dangers of sushi belts. Or at least the kind where you use a circuit to count them. Okay, so this is R equals zero output everything. We're going to reset. And then we immediately see a bunch of stuff put onto the sushi belt. And because we haven't pulsed in those negative numbers, uh, it's a very small amount. As long as there's anything on, uh, if there's any ice on the sushi belt, we will not put any ice onto the sushi belt. And as soon as it drops to zero again, we see all of these dropping some more ice. Uh, however, if we give it these negative numbers for just one tick, all of a sudden we put significantly more of each resource onto the belt. And hopefully not overfill it. <laughs> One fix, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, two fixes, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Is that the sun coming up? Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, I think it's working properly now. Get rid of these. All of the other substations, we can see the count. Not the real count, but uh, the count according to our circuit of each of these items on the belt. And if I think there's somewhere I can mouse over to see just the red wire. I could be wrong. Let's just add one for now. Uh, okay, so those pulses that you are seeing are actual items that are being picked up by the inserters being placed into the delivery cannon. That gets multiplied by negative one and sent to the green wire that counts everything. And what we receive from the signal receiver, uh, once this drains, um, copper, glass, iron plate, ice and stone. Just double check this is getting nowhere near full, that's good. Once this is empty we're allowed to pass those through and it's not um, copper plate, it's recipe delivery cannon capsule copper plate. That's what we use to decide it's time to uh, put delivery cannon capsule into the cannon. And the way we avoid counting that onto the uh, memory cell is all of the negatives have to pass through here. Uh, each greater than zero output each input count. And we have a little constant combinator that says big negative for all of these signals. All of the recipe delivery cannon capsule signals. And only after that do we multiply by negative one. And that is our sushi cannon system. It's magic. I searched also for SE changelog, haven't found any mention of larger biters. That's weird. I'm glad we got it on film. Missing a power pole? Oh no, those were, um, these were just for, wait, which one does stone go in? I think it's, 
here. Yeah. Uh, these were just for getting rid of the items on the sushi belt temporarily. That is a lot of stone. Wait, how have we got this much stone? Is it going to be too much? Hmm. Maybe I should set up a whole other automated system to put this stuff back on the belt. Well, I'm not going to do it right now. I am glad to see this seems to be working correctly. Still have no idea how we got that negative 9,000 count of ice, but it doesn't seem to be happening again. All of these are set to read hand contents pulse. Oh, and if it wasn't obvious, um... The resources that we need to make the delivery cannon capsules are handily all able to be sent via cannon, so they're already here. And we just take a copper plate and whatever else. Read hand contents pulse. And over here we have a condition. Delivery cannon capsule on the belt has to be less than 200. We could make it less than zero and, or like less than one, and put the delivery cannon capsule negative count over here if we want to do it that way. But this is fine, I think. Also, we have a whole lot of delivery cannon capsules left over from the last one, uh, from when it went wrong. Not complaining, I learn a bot about. Okay. What was the bug for? Don't come crying to us when everything goes sideways then? <laughs> Wait, what? Then what? What does this block do? Oh, um. It is a sushi belt system for storing and sending up, uh, sending items via delivery cannons. And, uh, we've got 96 cannons delivering 16 types of items. Yeah, so for the immediate storage, um, I'm just using the cannons themselves. They will store two stacks of each resource each, so that is 12 stacks of whatever resource. As soon as we want to send a certain resource upstairs, uh, we get a signal of, for example, a, deliver a recipe delivery cannon capsule steel plate. As soon as there's less than 10k steel plate, and these are empty. Um, and what we do with that, because we can't connect circuit wire directly to these machines, we just only put uh, delivery cannon capsules into them to complete the recipe under those circumstances. I'll fix it late, later, Herbert. It's not broken, it's just... Uh, I've got all of these resources here, lying around in chests. Uh, I've also got about a million delivery cannon capsules from when Crafting Combinator did not treat me very well uh, with the... At, at first I used Crafting Combinators on these uh, delivery cannons, but there's a slight problem with those in this instance, because when they swap recipes, uh, unless you tell them to discard items, which I don't want to do, when they swap recipes, they dump uh, resources that were in the machine into the chest, 
which normally is fine and you can deal with it. But if you have delivery cannon capsule steel plate, there's actually no way to automatically put that back into the machine. The only way to get rid of this without destroying it is to manually put it straight back in here. Which I just might do. I mean, each one of these represents a stack. Um, but yeah, the other thing that I'm procrastinating for now is just putting these resources back where they belong. Famous last words? That's what I meant, destroyed substation... Destroyed substation on the space platform. Wait, what? A white filter then. It's not broken, it's just not working. Wait, what destroyed subs... Do, what? Oh, no. Um, well, about that, this is on a completely different system. It's not the... It's not the one that we were just working on. I really don't know how this happened, because it's actually, like, the simplest design that we could have come up with. I just wanted it working. <laughs> Did an ice shot miss? No. It... Okay, so... Somewhere around here we've got a pair of cannons. Here it is. Coal and ice. Uh, the delivery cannon chests are still there. So that signal transmitter sends to this one. Um, and we say if ice equals zero, it's just sending the contents of these two chests. If ice equal... Okay, please stop. Uh... Please, please stop. If ice equals zero, send up some ice. If coal equals zero, send up some coal. And it's reading the contents of these two chests. Wait, did this get hit by a meteor? We ran out of meteor defense ammo. I think that's... I think that's what happened. Wait, is... Should we be able to see a meteor here? Um... Oh, look at this devastation. Oh no. This is really ironic though, because we built... Oh, what? Wait, what? Who... You didn't just fire, did... Don't tell me one of those has the wrong coordinates. Surely not. No, it doesn't. Who just sent ice up there? What? Who? Who? Um, I don't... Did the biters build a delivery cannon? Are they attacking my sanity as well as my base? What? Where is this ice coming from? I don't understand. And I have no more substations up here. How could this happen? 
Oh, the belt as well. Oh no. Water ice less than a hundred. Uh, I think we got more than a hundred water ice on the belt. Probably... Probably has something to do with this devastation somehow, but I don't see how. Are the wires still connected? Yeah, they are. That's weird. How did we end up with... Water ice less than a hundred. Did this get disconnected from... No, it didn't. How did this happen? Oh! Is it because... Is it because, like, the water ice spilled out from here? Okay, I think that makes sense. Probably a bit flip. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Pomay's Fritz? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do I have, like, a spare substation? Yeah, let's remove this. Okay, I guess... Do we have everything down here, like, fixed enough that we can go back to space for a bit? I think we do. Especially after getting the delivery cannon system working properly. Uh, and also the nuclear power. That's pretty important. Uh, I never did set up the pickup stations properly down here. Let's do that first. No fried rice? Why not? I like fried rice. The radiation corrupts the electronics? Yeah. That's why you gotta have massive redundancy. Okay. Uh, we need power for this. Request, uh, provide stack threshold 40. Sure. That seems fine. I, I wish that reached. Does this look okay? I don't like that being in the middle of the... Oh, it's not in the middle, it's sticking out here. Okay, so that is nuclear fuel. We also... Damn it. I guess that's fine. We also need a pickup for uranium. Um, I kind of want to just put it here. No, we can do better than that. This should be fine. Why do I have no rail? Oh, personal logistics. Pomez Fritz, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Mmm, potatoes. Fried potatoes are better. <laughs> okay. Defense capsules. Wait, what about defense capsules? Oh, speaking of... We can't send ammo up for the big cannons, right? But we can send the ingredients and make it. Electronic circuit, battery, steel plate. Uh, we've got everything up there except for battery. We could do point defenses. That would be sort of easier, but also a pain on the logistic side of things. How do we make batteries? We need sulfuric acid. 
Uh, we could do a whole rocket for batteries. Don't really want to do that. Um... I feel like I should just take up some ammo with me this time as well. We'll automate it next time. But we need to take up a lot. Uh, where be our ammo production? It's over here, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. That is a lot. Thin potato slices baked in cream with broccoli and ham yesterday. That sounds good. That sounds very good. I uh, don't need this. I don't need any belt going into space. Bonk. WTF everywhere I enter, they talk about food. <laughs> I'm sorry. People like talking about food. I've never... I don't think I've ever seen an exception to that rule yet. Don't need to take all the belt types with you to orbit. Yes, indeed. And I won't be needing rail either. I don't want to spend too much time trimming my requests. But that's a pretty significant number of... Uh, stacks. Um, can I get rid of this limit? There we go. And then, why am I so fast? That's probably why. I th think everything else will be fine? Question mark? Alright, which, uh... Which rocket should we take? Maybe the one with space platform scaffolding? This thing's full. Uh, probably not going because there's still... Hello? Five... Uh, there's like 580 slots available here still. Why don't we take the Green Circuit Express? Got our thruster suit. One last check. Oh, I didn't make the station here. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's put this stuff in a chest for now. And get some rail. Rail, rail. And away we go. Space time soon. As soon as I set up a pickup station for the uranium fuel cells. Otherwise our... Otherwise we're gonna shut down relatively soon. Okay, logistic train star. I could just put it back here. Seems fine, actually. Uh, oh no. Oh, I spilled my drink. There we go. This is actually... Uh, there's no way to make this substation line up very well. That'll do, I guess. Unless we do it like this. This goes... Uh, that makes me sad. Okay. Placement before power. Does this reach? 
it does not reach. Let's just put a substation right about here. And... Settings. Uh, provide threshold. Let's just say one stack. Uh, train length is three. One train at a time. Actually, I don't think I mind having at least a couple of trains queuing up for this. And just the one stack in Soda should be fine. What are you waiting for? For this train to go through. And this train. And... Will you ever start moving? Really? You could have gotten through there before they could have... Okay, I think it's going to be about 600 years before this train decides it has right of way. Um, it's also following a really weird path to get here. But that should be fine. Your signaling is a mess? What's wrong with it? Except for the fact that I haven't done the signaling for this part yet. This goes here. This goes here. And this goes here. That'll be fine. Actually, I think I'll put this as close to here as possible. Okay. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a few chain signals here, probably one too many. But still... There was a reason why I couldn't make this a uh, regular signal. Alright, finally the train is in motion. And following a very strange route to get here. Unless... Is... This is... Is this train actually technically in this sector? It should be. No, it wouldn't be able to stop here. That's very odd. Hmm. Do... So many dual-way rails? Yeah, in the uh, roundabout sections. The rest is one way. Except for... Well, if it's going into one of these crisscross parts near the uh, roundabouts, it can go that way because from the roundabout it can go any direction at once. Okay. That's... That'll do. Fantastic. So we've got pickups for... I haven't actually done this part yet. Uh, here. Just need a constant combinator. Probably going to have the same settings. Uh, I'll make this one 60. And size 6. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not sure why these are stack filter inserters. Whoops. Oh, no, wait, they should be, they should be. Because we got dual inputs here. Uh, so we will read from... Uh, the train contents. No, not the train contents. Um, read from the logistic train stop output. I forgot we need to do a precise loader for this. Whoops. Uh, you know what? Let's go to space and fix that whole mess first. I'm really not worried about the uranium-238 and 235 in the train network right now. Because we're actually not using it for anything. Uh, except maybe... Uranium ammo, which we've got a lot of. Okay. We good? Let's go. Launch delayed. Waiting for target landing pad to empty. Double check one last time. There's only 22 stacks in here. There's plenty of room. Let's go. This one actually is fed by the rail network, which is why we're not having trouble getting a hundred thousand green circuits. Okay, I need to make some room in my inventory. Um, I'll do this for now. That'll do. And we need to deliver this ammo. The thing that confused... Oh, no, no, that's not even. Ah, rip. Oh, it only puts a few in here. That'll be okay. Alright. The thing that confuses me, wondering about how this happened... is if it was a media we would see something right a rock or does it not appear if it lands on the scaffolding uh, we're also gonna have to drain the sushi belt to correct it uh, just to fix the count Um, let's actually get the belt first, and is your circuit brownout proof? Because if you're transmitting doesn't get full power, it doesn't send anything. Oh no. Uh, this one is. If this one transmits nothing, it receives nothing. But this one, I think I had it set up so that if coal equals zero... Yeah. How could I set it up? How could I do a really simple setup that's brown up proof? I wonder if that's how it happened. That makes a lot of sense. Um, okay, can we maybe... I'll block this stuff here. And why are we not... Oh. There we go. 
Okay, so stack filter inserters. Ice. I wonder how much ice we sent up here. I'm a little worried about how many chests we're going to need for this. I always send minus signal to Earth and convert it there to a 1 if it's under 0 so you don't send anything there'll be no 1 whatsoever but I'm a circuit noob if coal equals 10 to 50 just need to prep it once 10 to 50 yeah that'll do it but then if it does somehow manage to get empty That'll be a problem. Um, I think if we just do this, oh, that's good. Because I used circuit wire on the belts, these stack inserters are actually unconditional. Which means it's very easy to temporarily make it so that we don't put anything on the belt. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. There we go. I'll take that. And this... Let's just tidy up this belt entirely. It's like my inventory. Nope, we're fine. Okay. By the way. I need more room. LDS, heat shielding, rocket fuel, vulcanite, steel, glass, iron plate, copper plate, ice, and coal. So that will go to the appropriate storage. Um... I could... I did leave a lot of room setting the limits that I did for putting storage into here. Although glass is looking a bit more limited. Um, what I could do... We'll wait till we get rid of most of the ice at least. And then after that we'll just take everything off the belt. And we'll feed it... into this system. Well, not everything. Everything that goes in here. By the way, Factorio space exploration should be shortened as Factorio sex. Okay. There's a nav mode setting that allows limited interactions across all maps. If cult equals zero, then constant culminator browned out, and thus it's not equal to one. Uh, constant combinators don't brown out, they require zero power. But you could set it up so that it goes through like a, a mathematical doing times one or something.
Um, but yeah, I think we just do the logic. Uh, we'll do it the same as up here. We'll do the logic on this side. Um, so down here we're going to say... Um, yeah, I'll just leave it as is. If ice greater than zero, if coal greater than zero. Um, do I have, or rather, can I make a signal transmitter? I just need some steel. Did I run out of fuel? Give to me the fuel. Thank you. Oh, because I put all of my fuel in there. That's why. Okay, that's not what we want. Please stop. Please stop. Uh, did, is this about to send us some more? I th think we're okay. Alright. Uh, Decider Combinator. Constant Combinator. Chests go here. And one coal, one ice. Uh, each greater than one. Output each. That should do it. So if this is empty, uh, this will be receiving... Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't set the setting for this one, that's why. Nervous Orbit, Coal, and Ice. So now it's going to actually do something if we send a signal. So yeah, if, uh, if Coal or Ice is equal to one, output each. And then down here... Uh, if it's greater than zero, send it. So it'll only send when it's empty. Uh, can we test this? We kind of need to get rid of all of our ice to do it. How about this? Please stop for a moment. Alright, there should be room. There sh there's way more than enough room. So the moment this is empty, uh, we should get a cannon shell. And if this gets destroyed, if, if either of these get destroyed, or if there's no power, this won't transmit. Where does one get ice from? Uh, there is a resource called Prionite. We found it on uh, Mars, our tiny neighbor moon. And... You mine it, you crush it, you wash it, and then I think you put it in a smelter to turn it into cryonite rods. Here's the crusher and washer. Uh, and then once you have that, uh, there's a recipe that turns one cryonite rod and one sulfur into 10 cryonite slush, 
And then just a little bit of cry cryonite slush plus 100 water gives you ice, which you can turn back into 100 water. Are we just about getting close to testing time? Here we go. Thanks for explaining. No worries. Uh, see you again. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hey, young Jesus. Gotta stay hydrated? Absolutely. Alright. So a few more stacks and we should see this thing collect. Yep, there we go. And it'll send a few because... Oh, stop, stop, stop. It'll send a few because it already picked up three cannon shells. And that's probably the last of them. Nope, one more. There we go. That's one of the reasons why we don't send anything up unless it's empty. Especially when it comes to the shared uh, cannon chests. Alright, cool. And there's no reason to expect coal not to work. It's got exactly the same logic. Alright, so now we need two biochemical facilities. I think it's only made in space manufacturing. We need LDS and glass which we have right about here. I should really rebalance this. I keep taking it from the same chest. Not that it matters particularly much. How does one send ice into orbit without it melting? Uh, it. I don't think it will ever melt in this game. Not, not until you want it to. So you can use a cannon or you can use a rocket. Uh, what were we doing? Biochemical facility. And we need at least two of these. I think I'll make another one just to have it handy next time. And we need a electric boiler, heat shielding and copper plate. And then... is it all fixed? Seems like it. Okay, we will need to... Oh, look at all that blue science stuff. Because part of the belt got destroyed, we definitely can't assume that the count for any resource is, co uh, is correct. So... Let's do this for now. That doesn't push items to the left as much as I thought it would. These two... 50-50... 50-50... Anyway, output priority left. And then... I think I'm gonna have to move... I think I'm, I'm going to have to go and tell every single... Inserter that puts things onto the belt not to... I don't know. If we get rid of the inputs, it should all stop though, right? So maybe that's fine.
It's going to take a little while. Uh, let's do stone brick as well. And concrete. That's going to be a bit more difficult there. Concrete. Uh, a copper plate needs to go up that way. Low density structure, heat shield. Let's just wait and change those filters. Oh, it's uh, about time to finish the stream as well. Let's have a look and see who's uh, streaming Factorio today. Gamers Circle. I think we tried raiding them after we messed up a raid a couple of days ago. Why don't we give them an actual raid today? It's 10 viewers. Uh, Dune does. Yeah, Dune should have more than 10 viewers. Let's do Dune today. Alright, thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Hold on, fun things about Factorio, pump 500 degrees steam into a pipe or tank, disconnect it from everything else. It'll forever be 500 degrees, yes, that's true. Alright, thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have questions, by all means let me know. And uh, tomorrow's going to be a short one. Check the schedule if you want to know for the rest of the week. Take care, guys. Hey.